go. All right, and we should be going live soon. Let's see what happens. And we are live. What is up, guys? Live, 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 live. from the TGR room, room, bonanza. <laughs> I don't even know what to call Extravaganza. it. Extravaganza. What's up, guys? <laughs> um, it's Rudy. And it's your boy, Ah Nix, who was missing from today's Pokemon reaction. But we're not here to talk about Pokemon reactions. We're going to talk about something else, guys. Yes. Something Ooga that's Boonga. not Pokemon. <laughs> Ooga Boonga. Yeah, Tingly is lasagna. Ooga Boonga. Boonga. Oh, Let's hi. go, baby. Hi, lasagna. What's popping, <laughs> fella? Oh, my God. Um, so I, Onyx I, came I, up with this yes. awesome... Th- I'm just going to let him do it. I came up with an idea, right? An it's, idea. It's, it's a decent idea, I think. All by himself. <laughs> All by myself. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so today it's not, it's, we're not going to be streaming any games. No. However, we're going to be talking about games. Kind of. If you saw the title, it says the nominations, deliberation. What's up, Daniel? Top 20 games of the 2010s. What's up, my dude, Daniel? What's up? So that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to deliberate and discuss the games that we feel should be nominated for a, you know, best games of the decade. Right. However... We're going to have some very specific rules. Very specific. Okay. Number one, we're going to pick four <laughs> games for each year for the nominations. Hold on. Right? Pause. You can continue explaining. Oh. My wife is here, and she doesn't have the keys to the house. So I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Live streaming right brought to you by Onyx and Rudy. All right. So now that Rudy's out of the picture, I'm going to tell you guys what's really going to happen. All right, we're going to kill him. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Please. No, it's a joke. I'm not. I, I love this guy. Okay. So I have never done it by myself. This is kind of odd. Hi, guys. It, this is your boy, Onyx, and I'm here by myself. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll, I'll just keep explaining anyway. Um, <clears throat> so, yes, we will discuss um, pretty much. I, I came up with a list of games for that year, right? So 2010 has a... I wanted to do just top 10 games. But certain years were just really, really, really good. <clears throat> so I had to put more games okay. on it. Hey, he's back. Hey. hey. My wife made it into the house safely. Perfect. So we're going to go down this list. We're, you're gonna, I'm, we're going to put the list on screen so you guys can see it with us. Yep. And then we're going to deliberate pick four games that we want to, to kind of go on to the next level of, uh, or to the next round of choices, which will involve the community and stuff like that. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it. Yeah. So after that, if we ever have a tie, we have a tiebreaker. Yes. We will flip a coin and we will call heads or tails, and whoever gets it, we will settle it in Smash Brothers. But we won't fight each other because I'd clearly win. Clearly. <laughs> I'm a noob. It will be a CPU <laughs> battle. Two level nine CPUs will battle, but we have a Reddit CPU tier list. So whoever gets the heads will pick the level nine S tier CPU, and whoever, you know, gets the wrong call. It's the C tier. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully not you know, not very many ties come up or, or whatever. We need tiebreakers, but <clears throat> that's that's what's gonna be it. Yes. So you wanna start this shindig? You ready for this, man? No, not at all. But <clears throat> let's it'll be go great. Ahead. It'll be it, fun. It, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. And guys in chat, just you know, jump in, let us know what games of the year of that particular year you want to add. So let's start with 2010. Yes. 2010. What a year. So let's go down this list. We got Fallout New Vegas, Super Meat Boy, Mass Effect 2, Limbo, Ginger, Bayonetta, (laughs) (laughs) Donkey Kong Country Returns, Minecraft Heavy Rain, uh, Red Dead Redemption 1, Super Mario Galaxy 2, and StarCraft 2. And as you see my little note there from my original note-taking day, (laughs) I had to put 11 because there were so many good choices. There were so many good choices. So, Rudy. Out of this, any, I don't know, any two games in particular that just you got to put on this list to nominate for the best games of that year. Of that year. Yeah. I would definitely, definitely say Mass Effect 2. Okay. Right off the bat. Right. Like that, that is definitely a winner. And no, no, don't play with that cat. <laughs> My cat's trying to play with like the, the, the little, notebook separating thing. Yeah, the little <laughs> bookmark that's there. <clears throat> oi, oi, oi. Um, and then <clears throat> the next one that I would definitely do um, is Minecraft. And hmm. simply because Minecraft is such a big thing. It, it was, is. It, it's, it's huge. I mean, people use it to teach. I know. That's kind of insane. That, that transcends gaming. Oh, yeah. 110%. Right? Yeah, Matthias, I, I agree with you. 110% yeah. Minecraft. Yeah, I am. I mean, that's, that's cool, man. <laughs> it, I, it's a fun game. I think, I, you know, out of those two, yeah, I, I will put Minecraft... 
should be a nominee. Yeah, for sure. For, it, have it you is, ever been to Minecon? Uh, no, but I know of they, it. They had so back in the day, uh, I was working at a bar and right. they had Minecon, dude. It's insane, right? Like thousands. Yeah, like no, hundreds no. of thousands yeah. of kids just laptops. I can I can imagine. So, yeah, I, I you know what? That is a surefire nominee that we're at. Okay, now he's gonna say Bayonetta. Am I gonna say Bayonetta? I don't know, man. I like Bayonetta, but come on, we're talking about best games of the decade, and we're looking back at 2010. This is a big honor to be yeah. on this list, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Dark Souls of 2010's game. Oh God, <laughs> God. Well, don't worry because Dark Souls may be on this list. Maybe. Spoiler alert: it, it is. It is. Um. Okay. So that's your. That's your. Okay. That's a good pick, Minecraft. And you said Mass Effect Two. Yeah. How do we feel about Donkey Kong Country Returns? Never played it, man. Yeah? Yeah, I never played it. Okay, that, was you know that what? Wii U? That was for the Wii, actually. Oh, that was dang. on the Wii, my friend. Oh, my God. Well, yeah. I, I definitely got onto the Wii uh, train, like, way later in the game. Yeah. Like, way, way later in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. So, uh, honestly, looking at this list, you know, I see Red Dead Redemption 1. Yeah. And I see a game that shows Rockstar trying something really, really unique at this time. Out of right? GTA. Yeah, they, they kind of went away from GTA. They, they kind of wanted to do their own thing. And they already had Red Dead Re- Revolver back on the PS2 mm-hmm. era. Yeah. But Red Dead Redemption 1, storytelling, kind of amazing. That's really what sold that game to me. Yeah. How would you feel about putting Red Dead Redemption 1 on this list? I'm totally cool with that. For four? Okay. Yeah. So because that's I, I, think, I think that that's, you know, Red Dead Redemption 1, uh, <clears throat> I, got, I got stuck in Mexico, guys. I never finished it. Yikes. I, I will be 100% honest Yikes. with you guys. Um, and I got the the goatee edition oh they came yeah, with like yeah. the expansion with, uh, with the, the zombies, zombies. Oh, yes man. yes 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 so good so um good. but it was one of those things that it like came out and i just picked up another game i was like eh. yeah but red dead redemption that ending and that's the thing like everybody is, speaks highly of the ending but i never sure. actually finished it myself so yeah i don't know but so but what what else your second choice mass effect 2 that other choice of yours i like that choice a lot dude mass it, effect 2 was kind of amazing it's in a freaking museums it is because, because it, just, it did so much that good it did a lot wow, like he is going in <laughs> i know it's like the epitome of like the space opera opera it is no yeah in its entirety yeah 100 and honestly i'm with you i'm i'm gonna add mass effect 2 to this this top four nominations mm-hmm. mass effect or ass effect as they call it <laughs> ass uh, effect 2 <laughs> <laughs> all right so this is this is where it gets kind of tricky yeah where we have one game one, one spot game left, left. What are we doing? What are we doing? Well, okay. I, you know, go. go, go ahead. No, no, no. You, no, no. you. This is your bay. This is my bay, but I need to hear your opinion first. Well, Fallout New Vegas, I sank a lot of time into that game. Right. Because it was just, I, I had played Fallout 3 and like, or yeah, I played Fallout 3 right. and then that came out, or well, that came on my radar more than anything else. Because around that era, like, it was weird. I had just was, finished buying the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like, that, I I, it was like, I had financial freedom essentially, right. so I was kind of like picking up games left and right, whatever. Yeah, you're, like, you're picking up anything, anything, yeah. anything at that point. Um, and I played on this exact TV. Um, but <laughs> I would definitely say Fallout New Vegas just because of everything that you could do in it, okay. and it it pretty much took whatever Fallout was and like made it better. Right. So <laughs> this is where we're gonna have an issue. Super Mario Galaxy Two. There's uh-huh. a reason why I put Mario Galaxy 2 and not the... Well, the first one came out three years earlier. Yeah. But it wouldn't have even qualified. But Mario Galaxy 2 in particular. I haven't... I, and I'll be honest with you guys. Um, Super Mario Galaxy 2, I have not played enough to justify. Well, I feel the same way with New Vegas. I played like maybe five or ten hours of New Vegas. Okay. You know, I didn't finish it, you know? So I have a good idea of what the game was, but I didn't get super deep. So I'm thinking this coin is going to have to come up because Mario Galaxy 2 did what Mario Galaxy 1 achieved but right, right. better right, right right mario galaxy 2 didn't have to show up and prove anything it didn't have to exist it just happened right, right nintendo right. was like we don't have to make a sequel but here it is anyway yeah and i loved it like in terms of 3d platforming in 2010 it couldn't be beat right, it right. just couldn't in my opinion no i'm down so i think I think we're going to have to flip a coin for this, my friend. Do it, man. You right. want me to call it or you want to call no, it? No, you know what? You call it. Oh, okay, <laughs> then here, you flip. All right, here All right. we go. Wait, wait, wait. Probably gonna get which, which one's had? Oh, ah, shit, wait. This is a Polish coin. It's, so, like, it's a grosze. No it's, it's the only thing that was here. So, like, <laughs> uh, I would definitely say that uh, that's 
tails. And so the, the, the bird is tails and the 10 is heads. Yeah. yeah. All right. Ready? All right. So Ginger is probably going to get scared. Here we go. Heads. Oh, it's tails. Oh, it's tails, ah. baby. I get to pick that S tier. All right. <laughs> Let's switch it over to okay. the, uh, the smash screen, All which right. actually I think I got to set it up. Yeah. Here we go, baby. Let's go, baby. So. All right. Oh man, I haven't even set any of this up. No. I hope you have the uh, the actual. Oh yeah, you did cop. Perfect. All right, here we go. So we're gonna go. go. We're gonna go random. Actually, let's put let's put let's put battlefield to keep it even. You know, nice. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna change this real quick. <laughs> yeah, because you, you don't you don't want to do three no, stocks. not three stocks. I'm gonna make no, this a make nice uh, nice and simple one quick. stock. Easy. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. No, it doesn't matter, man. And then we'll go here. We'll yeah, do yeah. random, but we'll put battlefield. Right. Whatever. And then, okay, so. Here is the list of CPU. If you want to find this list, just literally Google CPU tier list for Smash Brothers Ultimate, and it's a Reddit post yeah. uh, by Shamrock Striker. You'll see it. Anyway, so here is your list. You get to pick the C rank. So pick your C rank I... while I set this up. I'm going to go with Kirby. Kirby? That's a good one, man. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah. So we got the Kirby. Where are you, Kirby? Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. Kirby. Boom. And then... For me... S tier. Oh, God. I'm going to go with Bowser. Bowser? Bowser, baby. Bowser. You ready? No. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Who will win? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. This will be fun. Yeah. Actually, this is Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to listen to yeah, the music. To I'm this. not gonna lie. <laughs> Ooh, oh my god. Ooh, Bowser with that sick grab. Oh my god, he's at zero percent. He is destroying Kirby. Oh, oh but Kirby with the comeback though. Seriously. Oh, no. that perfect shield. All right, let's see what Bowser does. He, he's not even edge guarding right now. Oh, oh, oh that's a really god, good that's, back that's here. It. No, Dude, no, 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 hey, don't sleep on Kirby. Kirby has some good potential. Let's see what he does. Oh, that that was a bad. Ooh. Oh. oh. Hold on, hold on. There's some good potential here. He has to be. He should start with that. Just kind of... Bowser? Bowser? Oh. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, they're back. They're back to yeah. neutrals. Oh. oh. Yep, that's it. That's it. Damn. Damn. Well, that was fast. Looks like Mario <laughs> Galaxy 2 gets added to our top 10. Seriously, or, well, man. top 4 of 2010. I'm going to go ahead and... Two. Yeah, you can leave it there. Switch that to that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Boom. All right. So, um... That was quick. That was. I, mean, I like that. I like that. Because yeah. when we, he like talked about it previously, I was like, I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's going to be like, be like smooth, but I like it. I smooth, like it. Smooth, baby. <laughs> so let's go ahead and, and... So 2010, we have Minecraft, yep. Red Dead Redemption 1, Mass Effect 2, and Super Mario Galaxy 2. Lots of sequels there. Well, two sequels, really. Yeah, yeah, 50% yeah. of our choices are sequels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's 2010 nominees for top games of the decade. If you're curious what the winner is... We actually can only pick two per year. Yep. And we're going to have to talk about that pretty intensely before we actually release our video at the end of yep. this month. Yep. But, yep. So yep. Keep, yep. keep an eye out for that. If you want to join in on the conversation, join Discord because we are going to um, have the community do a vote at some point. And we'll talk more about that later in the video. Yep. 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 Okay. So 2011. Clearly, this year was insane. <laughs> I had to add more than 10. 2011 had a lot of, a lot of a really lot good of games. games. And these were the ones that we... You know, we both talked about it. And we both felt like, yeah, this is a super good list that matches what we picked and what we wanted. So. Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> 2011 had Dead Space 2, Resistance 3, L.A. Noir, Rayman Origins, Assassin's Creed Revelations, Battlefield 3, Uncharted 3, Super Mario 3D, lots of threes, Arkham City, I, I guess. guess. Yeah, he's not, I, he's not I'm not Arkham. a fan of Arkham City. No. Don't, don't kill me. Bastion, Deus Ex Human Revolution, Dark Souls, Skyrim, and Portal 2. God! God, what what Guys, a year! What a year! How do we survive? I, I don't even know. How do know. we do this? I don't know. Capcom leaking. What's going, man? Matthews, you always hit us with the randomest of things, <laughs> and I like that. <laughs> Keep it up, man. Keep it up. It's so, good times. It's good times. 2011. This is gonna be a tough one, man. Yeah, uh, you go first on this one. You want me to go first on this yeah, one? Yeah, because I went first on the last Dude, one. I, I, this is I, rough. I don't think anybody will disagree with me, and if you do, I mean, just let me know. Yeah, just let us know in the comments. Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Dark Souls. We literally had a comment. Minecraft is a Dark Souls of 2010. It's like, yeah. it's a thing. Like it Dark Souls, its own subgenre. Demon Souls started it. Dark Souls popularized it. It, yep. it. it brought it into the mainstream. 
Yep. Right? To the, to the point where people get crapped on because they call Cuphead the platformer of, or the Dark Souls platformers yeah, and yeah. stuff. It's like, I hate it, but at the same time, you got to respect Dark Souls, right? Oh, I agree. You got to respect what it brought into the thing. So yep, 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 yep. that would be like an, a surefire one for me. I don't know about you. You got to look at the whole list here, but out of all of those, I, I got to put Dark Souls on there. All right. Do you do you agree? Are you are you kidding? Okay. There you go, Mister. I put how many hours and how like, many new game pluses? Uh, like I did new game plus plus, and I was, I, I think yeah, new game plus plus. Like <clears throat> I love that game. We we would go and like in Anne Orlando and just like chill That's there. That's right. Oh my god. You know what like, we did? We did the we did the the, the nasty shit. We were being <laughs> jerks. Yeah, we were total ass. I was a uh, oh what was the name of that covenant? It was the blue protectors or something. Yeah, remember? Yeah. And, and you could always get people in. Yeah, yeah. We was so I would be he would be like the invader kind of or whatever, or I forget what it was, but I would be protecting you. Yeah. So I would kind of hide out and just kind of hang out with him as people were trying to invade or being pulled in, and we would just man just, hours just ganking. We people hit like <laughs> hundreds of thousands of souls yeah. just like that, man. I, uh, that was that was fun. That, that was, was good fun. times. It was a good time. So yes, I one hundred percent agree. Dark Souls in this Dark now Souls for sure. Okay, all right. So now you tell me your your surefire must be on this list. Baby. It was Dark Souls. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, if I were to say anything else, damn, that's a tough list. It's a good year. Twenty eleven was actually a pretty fantastic year. You know, I'm not gonna lie. It's a good year. Back then, you know what I played a ton of? What's that? Dead Space 2. Dead Space 2 was because a it was it was man, right. Visceral Games rip man. Like ah, that EA. was Why you do it EA's like that? an idiot. But Dead Space 2 took what was good with Dead Space 1 and kind of like made it more actiony yeah, somewhat. It, it, Dead Space 2 is like the aliens to yeah. Dead Space 1 being alien. Yeah, yeah, right? I agree. I it's agree. It's still kind of scary. Still kind of. But it's still way more action oriented. Yeah. But it's still, it, it refines something well. Now granted, Alien and Aliens, they are very different films. Oh, totally, totally. But in terms of games, I, I yeah. I, I think like, I'm with you on that one, man. Dead Space 2 has, I have a lot of good memories, good fond memories with Dead Space 2. Oh, yeah. I, I went through that campaign so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. So freaking much. I think I'm with you on that one. Cool. I'm not gonna argue. Dead Space too, man. Yeah, no. People are like, "What the hell? What's are wrong you guys with you insane? guys?" No, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm sure you guys agree. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So <clears throat> now it gets to the hard part, right? Yeah. You know, out of all these, Portal Two, yeah, would be one that I consider a surefire. You got to go in here. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Portal Two. Oh, so you just just agree? Just yeah, put it in there. dude. Portal Two is like it's it's Portal. Portal. When that freaking first game came out, my mind was like. <laughs> how it expanded it literally got bigger because just when you figure out portals it's like what the f how did they do this the cakes alive such a cool idea and then it's it's the idea of the puzzler it's the idea of you know doing these portals is new technology and stuff but then you have a crazy good story the cake is alive it became a meme for years it's, that was just a thing and then the song at the end like, yeah 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 and then the, the sequel i loved portal 2 yeah god i put so much time into that game it, it's so, it's it's Bay. I'm with you. It's Bay. Portal 2. What, what next? Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I would say... <clears throat> <sighs> crap, man. This is hard. It is. Because L.A. Noir was really good. I know you really like that game. I haven't played it enough. I put, again... It's on Switch. I'll let you borrow it. That's right. <laughs> it's on Switch. I have it downstairs as a cartridge. <clears throat> I don't like, know. Well, yeah. you know, I have it on PC. I mean, I can always play it. No. But <sighs> this is tough. Like Because so, AC Revelations was also... I know that was actually a really good. That was the uh, the last the, one of Ezio, right? Yeah, the Ezio trilogy. Yeah, which was like amazing. Yeah, and I really enjoyed that trilogy. But then I really enjoyed Uncharted three a lot. It right. wasn't as good as two, but I still enjoyed it more than four, retrospectively. Mm -hmm. So I have a lot of respect for what Uncharted three did. Yeah, especially the multiplayer. I put a lot of time into that multiplayer. Yeah, I do That's, not. This is tough, man. And then Super Mario three D Land. 3D Land was a really good game. I put it on here because I felt like Nintendo had like no representation in this <laughs> list. <laughs> like, look at it. There's like no Nintendo. This was clearly a lull in Nintendo's like. Yeah, because I mean, wasn't this, this was like, the end of the Wii? The, yep. And the year before the Wii U came out. Yeah. So I mean, similar to how now we're leading into next gen. I know. Yeah. I know. So. I know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I, I would I would say Uncharted Three. Yeah. Yeah. But do you? I would say L A Noir. L.A. Noir, guys. If you have not played L.A. Noir, just go play it, man. It, it's like Rockstar is like 
uh, black sheep, I guess would be the best way of saying it, because there yeah. is no love for it. But the yeah. way that that game plays, if you like pretty much the 1950s murder mystery, like it's it's awesome. And the action sequences are like, yeah. oh, so good. So okay, good. well then, hey, I guess we got to flip this one too, man. Yeah. Because we're okay. not agreeing on this one. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's do it. Yep. Ready? Call it. Oh, do I call it? No, uh, should I call it? I'll call it. Yeah. Maybe flip though. Okay, I'll flip. <laughs> All right, ready? Nice catch. Oh, I haven't called it. Head. Tails. Dang. <laughs> right, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, man. Here. Let's see here. You need the tier list again, my friend? Yeah. This is going to be good. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, what are we looking at? Uh, right, yeah, go to the next battle, set up. So on your tier list, you have, um, yeah, you can just put that on. That's fine. Uh, me, you got the me gunner or me sword fighter. Mm-hmm. You've got Robin, Bowser, King K. Rule, Ganondorf, uh, uh, what's his name? DDD, DDD, uh, Villager, and, oh my God, Captain Falcon, Jesus Christ. Mm. I am going to go with... You can look at it here again if you want. S tier is right at the top. Bowser? Yeah. Bowser kicked ass last round. Yeah, that was very surprised. Like, uh, so right, what are you for, going with? For me, uh, great. I got so many picks. You know, Bowser it hits hard for smaller characters, so I'm gonna give him a big character to deal with. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him Little Mac. Little Mac. Little Mac. I feel like this is a good a good choice simply because Little Mac's neutral is really strong. His aerial sucks. Yeah. So Bowser last round barely got off the the air or got off the stage. So we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. One, go. Right, here we go. See, I'm telling you, man, that neutral. Don't sleep on the seats here. Let's go, Little Mac. You have super armor too. Nah, bro. Oh my god. Nah, bro. Bowser hits so hard. Come on, Little Mac. Come on, Little Mac. Don't drop it. Don't drop it, baby. Ooh, oh, that my read. God. No way. No, no, no. no. But he, he'll recover. He'll recover. Oh, my God, dude. I'm telling you. No. I'm telling you. No. <laughs> oh, he messed up. Oh, God. Bowser can just get him now. Oh, my. Little come on, Mac. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What am I talking you, kid? Oh, he's got the KO. Oh. He's got the KO punch. <gasps> oh, Ooh. that's not good. That yep. is not good. His recovery is so bad. Oh, but he made it back. All right, here we go. He lost his KO punch. Unfortunate. That's okay. Come on, little Mac. You're... No! You fool! Oh, okay, oh. good, 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 good recovery. Come on, just, just get him, just get him, just get him. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh my God, this is actually super close. <laughs> get his little back. This is a lot oh. closer than I thought it was gonna be. <gasps> Damn, Damn. <laughs> little Mac. Oh, La Noir, man. La Noir made it. Well, there you go. La Noir, let's go. Ooh. Creating the intro to this video is going to take me weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, let's move man. on to the next. That, so that's it. So 2011, we got Dark Souls. 2011. Dead Space 2, Portal 2, and L.A. Norris are nominees for best game of that year. Seriously. So Seriously. Let's move on to 2012. 2012. Which is a very interesting year. 2012 yeah. was the year that the Wii U came out. And right. again, we were. this was essentially the last year that we knew for sure we weren't going to have uh, that gen, that was the last year of yeah. that current gen. Right. Right? So it's a very interesting year. So let's let's look at this list. We got Dragon's Dogma, Great Max game. Payne 3, Far Cry 3, Assassin's Creed 3, Diablo 3, a Borderlands, lot a lot of freaking threes, Borderlands 2, Halo 4, Mass Effect 3, Hotline Miami, Dishonored, Journey, and The Walking Dead, a Traveler's Tale series. So just looking at this list. <laughs> do, do you want me to go first? Dude, yeah. Give me your surefire pick. Journey, hands down. 100%. Jer- even, journey, like... Not even going to deliberate. <laughs> journey is a masterpiece of, of an indie game. Yeah. 110%. Yeah. Journey it, Journey was fantastic. Like, the, the, I was spoiled before the, playing the game. Oh, you were? I didn't know that you were... I, like, I knew that there was some sort of multiplayer component. And yeah. you were going to run into people. So yeah. I kind of knew that going in. Yeah. It wasn't a full blind experience, right? Right, right, right. But... Still, that moment near the end, and I guess if you've never if you've never played spoilers, mute us for like the next minute or two, uh, because I really, really, really think you can beat that in one sitting. Like yeah. You can finish it in one sitting. Do it. Play Journey, but um, 
you you know you get to the mountain finally right Right. that's the whole point of the game you see the mountain you see the the peak of the mountain yeah and it's like okay you got to get there and when you finally get there like other people are are there with you like they can show up before that point but the the time that i played it i saw a few people here and there like kind of helping me right and like maybe like the the last like maybe 40 minutes of the game somebody joined and they stayed with me they didn't leave isn't that yeah and they wanted to be there like at the end and at the very end your character essentially dies Mm -hmm. and gets kind of like reincarnated so you kind of transcends right right exactly yeah and if you're with somebody else you both die together Mm -hmm. like you're slowly going up the mountain getting like almost frozen and stuff like it was actually a really emotional ending and then it's like that's the point of the game It, it wants you to kind of be together with other people and experience this together and that end like that was that is a masterpiece that like man like that game company it, is it yeah. that game company or this it was, co- this it was that game that game, that game company, company. Yeah. like yeah. they i mean i loved everything that came before them like flower and and um i forgot what else they came out with but pixel junk no 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 no, 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 no. no, no. pixel jump that's right? a, yeah that's something else yeah. um but this game like i played it and immediately the music the art style oh, the everything art style like mm. just blended beautifully together and then like the message of just connecting with other people yeah. and just i don't know yeah. like i i loved it and i replayed it multiple times yeah that game is fantastic i really highly highly recommend it so that's gonna go on there for sure okay and for you what's this year was rough man. what's what's the must have like uh, looking at this the must have like literally i was i, I think I, we talked about it a little bit before we started playing or before we started doing this um like i really enjoyed the hell out of max Payne 3 yeah a lot it's not a 10 no you know no game is 10 out of 10 in my opinion but it's really hard to, to that's not an even a nine for yeah. it's like an 8.5 mm-hmm. however max paint 3 like was such a return to form for the character for rockstar you know like this right. wasn't a remedy developed game rockstar uh-huh. developed it mm-hmm. and i really really love what it did with the character right um it's not a perfect game and i still think it, it deviated a lot from the original max Payne games but right. i still loved it a lot um right. and i would say it's it's one of my top six for that year for right. sure for sure so do you agree with that or i never played it so oh okay well that's a surefire so if you notice we have essentially two surefire picks that we just get to pick and then we kind of have to deliberate exactly really on the other two so max Payne three all right sir what's your next pick uh i would definitely say mass effect three mass effect and 3. um I Ooh, the the reason that's a being, hot take I think that is a hot take one hundred ten percent because some people were not happy with that ending. Oh yeah, I was completely satisfied. I love. Were you really? Yeah, yeah. I loved how it ended. I mainly because I didn't get spoiled because I know that like the original ending leaked at one point. At one point, yeah. And um, like Bioware had to go ahead and, and change everything. I didn't at that point I wasn't paying that much attention to what was going on in the gaming industry. So you didn't feel so I guess when you got to the ending, spoilers if you've never uh, yeah, played Mass yeah, Effect yeah. 3, I guess, but you didn't feel like when you got to the ending like the choices were just so black Bare bones. and white. Yeah. It was literally like here's but it's a good a, ending, here's the bad ending, here's the neutral. It's always been that way in the game though. It has, but it's, I guess it's not the Witcher. No, it isn't, it isn't. And it's not really about it being gray or black or white, but it was more so like throughout the whole game the mm-hmm. whole the whole trilogy of mass effect yeah you're being told like the ending will be entirely unique for everyone and it wasn't I right mean, like the all the choices you made in mass effect one well not yeah. all but a lot of them affected mass effect two and then also affected mass effect three right up until the very friggin' end mm-hmm. so like that was the biggest disappointment it was like not the choices themselves but the fact that everybody got the same choices the, regardless of what the hell they did the last three games mm-hmm. the last you know 100 hours of gameplay they've had mm-hmm. the same freaking choices yeah that was the big disappointment i'm okay with it <laughs> well okay. I, I mean I, i'm okay with that like 100 like i enjoyed it for what it was and okay, okay. did i ever replay it no yeah the, the game that i replayed the most here on this list is journey yeah oh funny i did play a lot of uh, online multiplayer for mass effect 3 really enjoyed that. Yeah, the, the did, dude, we played together yeah the pv was fun as hell. like that was awesome yeah. but yeah no i, I never played um like i don't know borderlands 2 like i played it once and i got to like the final boss and i remember sean like giving me crap about it oh my god he He, loves borderlands borderlands Borderlands, like 100 percent. but um uh i don't know man like like ac3 left me not happy ac3 was disappointed far cry 3 was uh an improvement from far cry 2 like they did a lot with far cry 3 um dragon's dogma is like dragon's Dogma is a good ass game yeah i just never that's a good ass it was so long 
so yeah. freaking long. And Halo Four, Halo Four, I, I didn't, I don't have an Xbox. Yeah, I didn't have yeah, an yeah, Xbox. Yeah, you, an that Xbox was on uh, Xbox One or no? That was like Xbox Three Sixty. Three Sixty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Three Sixty. Well, this was still Three Sixty and PS Three. No way. Yeah. All right. A lot of these got ported over, but yeah, this is still okay. That generation. So. Uh-huh. I don't know. I, I this is kind of hard. Like I would, I would be okay with adding Mass Effect three, but mm. I'm not okay with it because that ending really disappointed a lot of people. It didn't live up to the amazingness. That's not even okay. a word. I think to Mass Effect two. So we, this might be the coin flip. But what, Septimus, what? hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh hi, yeah, we're live. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so. I, I don't know. I would rather put Dragon's Dogma into Mass Effect 3. However, we still have a slot open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, what so what will be your next pick? Uh, or actually, uh, no. Uh, you gave me your pick. Mass Effect I said 3. Dragon's, Dragon's Dogma will be the counter to Mass Effect 3. Okay. My other pick would actually be the Walking Dead Traveler's Tale series. Okay. No, the, that, that's totally respectable. The reason is because that, that game did what Mass Effect essentially kind of wanted to do. The endings were still kind of the same, like, the, yeah. the of the game, but there was a lot of choices that you would make, and a lot of characters right. would stay alive throughout the episodes up right, until the right. finale, right. right? So even though the finales all kind of ended the same, there was a lot, and I mean a lot, of differing, differentiating, differentiating factors right. within those playthroughs. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that, that, that game alone brought back so many other series. They... We had the Batman um, Traveler's oh, Tale yeah. series. The Wolf, the Wolf Among, Among Us, Us. Which, by the way, is a great game. <clears throat> so, I mean, it pretty much thanks to The Walking Dead. Okay. And I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Add it to the list. So, I think I'm going to add it to the list. But we have that conundrum. That conundrum. Yes, so, uh, what you're saying is Dragon Dogma versus Mass Effect 3. That is what we're saying. Dragon Dogma. That, is, that is what Mass we're Effect saying 3. now. All right, cool. We gotta so flip this coin. We're gonna we're gonna flip the coin. I flipped it last time. You yeah, can flip, so it, flip it, this it this time. time. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set this up. Heads. You, heads. Yeah. Oh my God. I you, won. You got heads. Hey, baby. Uh, here we go again. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get this set up. Um, so oh yeah, let me bring up the list again. I don't know if you want to keep Bowser. Bowser has won the last two games. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Bowser, dude. <coughs> Damn it. Okay. Well, I'm not going to try Little Mac again. No? No. I'm going to put... You know what? Let's put one of the Belmonts. Let's put um, Richter. Richter. Richter Belmont will be my C-tier pick. Oh. <coughs> All right. Let's do this shindig. Let's see who wins. I am curious. Let's go, Bowser. Three. Okay, see, Richter Richter has a little bit of range, but he's so slow. Maybe this is a bad pick. Oh, God. Uh, no, no, come on, come we'll, on, Richter. We'll see, we'll see. It's still pretty even. 31, 32. Ooh, there we go. That's a good grab. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, my God. Come on, dude. Don't fall for this. There you go. That's a good smash. Mm. Come on. Richter. Come on, dude. Some aerials. <laughs> ooh, that's a good little combo there. Oh, ooh. Okay, okay. He's got a nice lead, but uh, Bowser Bowser hit him twice, and he'll get light. See? He's already... Yeah. Tw- oh! No. That would have killed him. But yeah. 100%. Come on, dude. Edge guard! Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the footstool! The footstool! Wow. Let's go, Richter! That's my boy! <laughs> I did not expect that. The 100%. Stool, Yo, where'd, my, where'd the pen go? I got too hype. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yo, that was actually really hype. That, that was legit, man. Damn, I'm not Dragon's lie. Dogma made it, man. I, I mean, it is what it is. At the end of the day, <laughs> I'm cool with it. That, that 100%. Was, that was great. That was great. Okay. That, that was good. That was good. I, I enjoyed that. 100%. So for 2012, we got Journey, Max Payne 3, The Walking Dead, The Tale Tale, Tale Series, and Dragon's Dogma. Not legit. A, not, not a, a bad, bad list, man. Not a bad, year. N- not a bad list at all. So di- now we get really interesting because 2013, yeah. if you guys remember, was the first year. Well, that was the year that next gen came out. So the PS4, yeah. Xbox One officially released in 2013. So that let's was look like, at that, that list. That was like the weird year with like cross gen stuff, right? Yes. So let's look at this list. A very interesting list. And, and we'll get to buy. Ignore that lamb out. Lamb out. You know what? I, I brought it up. I hate Bioshock Infinite. Eh, I don't hate Bioshock Infinite. He I, was just very unhappy with it. I think it, like, it's one of the most... Expectations were very, very high for that. I think it was one of the most overrated games this... Ever. Ever. I, I Like, those that first reveal, um, everything they showed that wasn't in the game, like... 
the story was fine. You know, I loved the, I forgot her name. What was her name? Elizabeth? What was yeah, her name? I think so. I loved her as a character, but so much of the game I just didn't care for. The the right. enemies were sponges. Like the bosses, I mean, if you want to call them that, were just so uninspired. I yeah. I I never understood the love it got. And me and Sean used to like go at it at times, like just arguing because it was like, no, Bioshock Infinite is not that good. And he loved it. So I enjoyed it for what it was. That's obviously not gonna be on my list. If he wants to put it, you know, we maybe we can flip a coin, but whatever. But let's look at the list anyway. Okay. We got Metro Last Light. Less yeah. The Tomb Raider reboot. Rayman Legends, which is a bay. Pigman three, which is also bay. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, a- Assassin's Creed 4 Black Freaking Flag, ooh, Pokemon X and Y, ooh, Fire Emblem Awakening, ooh, yo, can you see what's happening with Nintendo, by the way, this year? <laughs> Coming back full swing. Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, The Last of Us, Super Mario 3D World, ooh, and GTA 5. Oh, yeah, I already talked about Bioshock Infinite. Infinite. Like, yeah. Right Dude. This this is Oof. this is this is tough. This that, is actually tough. That is hard. Pikmin three was a fantastic game. That that yeah. Rayman Legends, freaking almost near perfect platformer. Like Mario three D World, I adore. I adore three D World. I think I even at times put it higher at certain things than Odyssey. And I love Odyssey, but I think Mario three D World does certain things better than that game. And that's that's a lot of praise coming from me. You know how much I like Odyssey. Yeah. Revengeance was also a really good plan. I'm like I, Black I, Flag, Pokemon X, Y, the first full 3D game. Yep. What the fuck? <laughs> sorry, you guys. Sorry, algorithm. You're gonna hate this video. Yeah, the algorithm's getting you all the f bombs. Ah, uh, what the hell? No. What do you I, do? I you pick. That's right. I gotta pick one. Damn it. <laughs> oh. Well, well, did you pick last time? Wait, hold on, Evan. Uh, where is my gosh dang shame? We got me Tensei Four. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Disgraceful. I'm for, sorry. For Evan. the record, he made the list, not me. <laughs> You would not have picked Shin Megami Tensei. Have you even played one of those? No. Because I haven't. No, I haven't. Persona is the, the closest thing I've got, so sorry. Same, yeah. same. Um, okay, but I guess I'll, pick, I'll have to pick one. I think I should pick the obvious one. What? Right? It's, it's obviously Tomb Raider Reboot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to pick my obvious choice. Okay. Right? Simply because, to me, this was the culmination of the franchise at the time. Right. I don't think it's, it's been as good ever since. Yeah. Assassin's Creed 4, cool. Black Flag. Yeah. 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 Assassin's Creed 4, to me, was literally the pinnacle of that franchise. I loved being a pirate. I loved exploring. We, um, you, yeah, you guys played it on PS4. You played it on PC. I played it on PC. I right? remember. I remember. Holy crap. What a, what a frigging game, man. A good like that was like the last to me in my opinion that was like the the last really good assassin's creed in that generation yeah and people will argue like maybe origins or even um odyssey yeah i mean i don't know i played them they're they're okay they're but but that that was like the first assassin's creed game where i was i i like did it almost everything oh it was just, everything you wanted to explore in that game. the world was so inviting exactly exactly you know? and you know you just you were essentially rewarded for exploring Halo, Verum. I'm, I'm assuming you're saying Halo, like Halo, because Halo isn't in this list right now. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, um, but uh, your pick, sir. Oh yeah, um, The Last of Us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the, you know what's it, funny about it's the Last of Us? It's not a perfect us. game. It, it isn't. By, I actually, by all means, it is I think not it's a perfect game. Slightly overrated. Yeah. Because when that game first came out, like I fell into hype. I was like, oh my god, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the best game I ever played. And then I kind of let it linger for a bit, and I started kind of... I, I replayed it once, and I really liked what I played, but then I yeah. started seeing the seams. I started seeing a lot of the things that just didn't make sense. There's a lot of just random holding ladders. There's a lot of... You walk into a new area, and you see perfectly like leveled stuff to your yeah. waist. It's like, oh, there's going to be a shootout here. I mean, it's the same thing in Uncharted. Right. For, for all intents right. and purposes. But Uncharted like... is kind of arcadey. It's kind of... Like, Last of Us has very realistic stuff in it you die really quickly you mm-hmm. have um like it's like a stealth game really so you have to deal with like sound and stuff like it's a very different type of game right right, right. and i guess la- the Na- naughty dog forgot <laughs> that they were designing not an uncharted game with stealth but a, you know a different type of game so yeah oh I mean, but again it, it is minor but it still adds up to what i don't i don't think it should be heralded as high last of us 2 however i think will be fantastic and yeah. I, I know Naughty Dog learned from their mistakes. I hope they learn from Uncharted 4, but we'll get to that later. 
Um, yeah. So, but I'm with you, though. Last of Us does yeah. deserve because that story, I think, is what people latched onto the most. Yeah. That story was fan freaking fantastic. That I think. ending, dude. It, 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 it it's powerful. Where, where you have the choice. Yeah. But it's powerful. Yeah. And, and the choice that Joel makes just makes so much sense. Especially now, like back then, in 2013, I wasn't a dad. Right. Now, looking back at it, I understand one hundred more, right? One hundred percent. Fuck the why, world, man. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's my kid or the highway. Yeah. Yep. Oh man, like so freaking good, man. Oh, Evan, you're gonna love my Uncharted Four discussion. We'll get to that though. But <laughs> that's that's three that's three years from now. <laughs> you, you'll you'll love it. You'll love it. You'll love it. Um. <clears throat> so okay, Last of Us and Assassin's Creed Four. Give me your next potential would be pick. Oh, this is hard, man. Like yeah, really it hard. It is actually. Bioshock Infinite. Really? No. <laughs> yeah, hey man, if you if you No, I'm joking. No, 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 no. Um, I would definitely say uh, probably Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Rising Revengeance, huh? That was a game that I sunk a lot of time into. That, I mean that was playing them. That was, was fun as hell, man. Plan them and Kojima, like what a mix, huh? It's so much fun. Yeah. Like yeah. Just like killing robots, taking out their spines. The just, combat was fantastic. It was just yeah. good, fast paced. And like, and do you like, remember like the music? How it changed with the boss battles? Yeah, like at certain points in the boss battle, yes. it changed. Mm. Dude, Ooh. amazing, amazing action. Really good design. I know what your next pick is. Do you? Super Mario 3D World. Either that or Rayman Legends. This is actually really hard. Really, really hard because I want to give it to X and Y. Really? I really, I really liked X and Y. You know, how many, you know how much we played that game. Well, yeah, we did. We played play a off. lot of X and Y. All like three of us, lot. like we traded a lot. I would take it to work, right? Really? And as I was working, like on the computer, I would have X and Y running, and I was breeding Pokemon. I would literally just hold wow. the left and right to like um, on the bike on this path. Yeah, just breeding just, fucking Pokemon. Dude, just going so there, just well, working on my computer. Wow. That's how much I loved X and Y. It just felt like so fresh. It was stupid easy. No post game whatsoever. <laughs> but. I still had a really good experience, but I also loved Fire Emblem Awakening. I never played it. Like, for all intents and purposes, Three Houses was my first. Right, right. And GTA Fire 5 Emblem. is probably one of the best selling games ever. Still selling it's today. Still selling today. Like, and it's because they take care of like their online, man. They do. They do. They, they just keep they, giving it stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is actually super tough, man. So, like, I'm with you with Revengeance, but I think I would probably put 3D World over Revengeance yeah. and leave the last slot for Pokemon X and Y. But do you agree with that or do you disagree with that last slot for being um, for Pokemon? No, it's fine because Super Mario 3D World is one of. And, I, I'm sure it's going to happen eventually, but that is going to come to the Switch, that and I'm going to buy it. needs to get a port to the Switch. Oh, my God, I'm going please. to buy it. And X and Y, like, I played just as long as you did. Exactly. So, I mean, it's your call. If you want to no, slot I'm, I'm totally cool with that. Pokemon X I'm and totally Y? I'm totally cool okay. with that. Like, I, dude, this is a tough list. Absolutely. It is. And it's going to get tougher, because we're going to have to pick two of these games for each year. So, who oh boy. Uh, we'll figure it out somehow, that I guess. That one's going to be rough. So, it's between Metal Gear Rising Revengeance and Super Mario 3D World. Okay. All right, so you flip I call? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Tails. Hey, yeah, hey I got my S tier pick, finally. Finally. So let's <clears> go <throat> ahead and set this bad boy up. And we'll get this going. Oh. <laughs> not, not the fuzz. <laughs> Wrong source. <laughs> Pure fuzz. Pure fuzz. That's funny. All right, so let's see. Boom. So what do you want? Oh, right. S tier list. Let's see. You can pick your tier. Uh, so, oh, actually, you got to look at it, too. <laughs> Never mind. Um, well, I know who I want. <clears throat> so, for S tier, you know what? I'm going to get Captain Falcon in this bad boy. You want Piranha Plant? Oh, no. Oh, you want Bowser. You can't uh, pick Bowser. No, I can't pick Bowser. Uh, Captain Falcon should be top right by Jiggies. By Jiggies. And then, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. You just, you just go to Bowser. Yeah. No, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta oh, leave it. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time, guys. <laughs> uh, so C tier, you have your picks between the Belmont, Yoshi, Luigi, Wario, Ice Climbers, Kirby, Lucina, uh, Little Mac, or Pikachu. That is your your C tier. I go with Luigi. Luigi. Yeah. Luigi. 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 Oh, be fun to watch. Let's see what happens. We'll see. We shall see, guys. Verum God of War three was good. I it enjoyed was, it. Yeah. I did that come out in 2010? I don't even remember. I thought I didn't see it on my know. list, so. Or on Let's the see. list of that year. Look at that Poltergust. You saw that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Captain Falcon's clearly got an advantage. Seriously, man. Come on, dude. He's just really fast, you know? That's what kind of puts him there. Oh my god. 
See, Captain Falcon is fighting, fighting for uh, all the Mario 3 World love that he has for it, you know? <laughs> Shut up. He loves that game. He was like, dude, that, that last boss battle was so epic. Like, I wouldn't know. Ooh. Oh, I know exactly what that last battle is. <clears throat> I, I know. Come on, baby. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, he's... Oh, unless Luigi God. pulls some sick, like... No, if he pulls, <gasps> like, some sick combo, maybe, but... Yeah, that's not happening. You never know, man. Don't sleep uh, on I'm, Luigi. I'm, I'm giving it to oh, you. Oh, my God. No, 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 don't sleep on it, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Awesome. All right, so Mario awesome. 3D World beats Metal Gear Rising Revenge. Seriously. Super Mario, Super Mario 3D, 3D World. World. That's such a good game. <laughs> right. Yeah, I know. I, I've um, <clears throat> played a lot of that. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. The music? What? Is that what? No, like I've played a lot of that. Of what? Of 3 of um. Oh my 3D god. Land? Yes, 3D yeah, yeah, Land. Yeah. Not 3D World, 3D Land. <laughs> yeah. We'll get to 2017. We know that's going to be a tough yeah. year. We'll, we'll, yeah. We'll get to that. We'll, gonna... we'll get to it eventually. So 2013 ended with AC4, Black Flag, The Last of Us, Pokemon X and Y, and Super Mario 3D World. Not a bad list either. Not at all. So 2014. I love this year. Why because is that? this year was the first year that we had the next gen games in like. That were the, like full yeah, next gen. Yeah, right? And, I mean, you can look at this list. We got Titanfall 1, which was an Xbox One exclusive back Never then. played it. The Evil Within, Shinji Mikami's next horror game. Yep. Dragon Age Inquisition, which won the Game Awards Game of the Year. I mean, year. I, I, I really enjoyed that game. <laughs> I know Despite you did. Despite its flaws, loved it. I loved it. South Park Stick of Truth, Dark Souls 2, Smash Bros. for the Wii U, Middle Earth Shower, Shadow of Mordor, Alien Isolation, Destiny, Bayo 2, Mario Kart 8, and freaking Donkey Kong Tro Country Tropical Freeze. And this is true. I literally was looking for lists of top 20, top 30 games, just to kind of get an idea. On all the freaking lists that I found, none of them mentioned Tropical Cheese, that I, which me and my brother call it that. I was so mad. That game actually got robbed. It's such a fantastic game. Yeah, it's tough as nails. Yeah, you know, it's more of Donkey Kong Country Returns, but... The level design, like they had a, a cinematic approach to platforming, like 2D platform. Right. Ooh, such a good freaking game. I hate that it got like people didn't like it as much, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. But um, do you want me to go first or uh, yeah, I picked last one today. Okay, so Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Wow. That, that's my first pick. Okay. Um It ain't gotta get robbed here, baby. No, like <laughs> I so I bought it on the Switch. Right. And I played it right after playing Celeste, and I loved every second of it. It's like, so good. It's so freaking good, man. Yeah. Like, if you love platformers, even a little bit, just, just just a little bit. Yeah. Like, and I think, uh, who was it that did a comparison between Tropical Freeze and uh, Super Mario uh, Brothers Wii U? Ooh. Ooh. Some, somebody did a comparison it, online. Yeah. I want to say that it's Donkey, but I'm not 100% sure. Donkey definitely shitted on, <laughs> on Mario Bros. Wii U, but... Because, like, oh. they, they literally were all like, okay, you know, it was look, look at this level. It was Dunky. You're it was? Right? Yeah, yeah, it was. Because okay. he was, like, saying, like, look how freaking exciting Tropical Freeze was. Right. And then Mario Bros. You're like, woo woo woo, -woo. And, it, and it was, like, three or four different levels of Super Mario, and it was just completely dull. And then yeah. it was one level that he just chopped up into different segments. And it, yeah, that each one level alone had more variety than those individual levels of yeah. Mario. Yeah, yeah. So it, Tropical it, Freeze is really good. I, I almost want to play it again, honestly. I mean, like, you can. I don't, should. I'll let you borrow it. You should stream it. Yeah, sure. I'm down. We can <laughs> We can uh, do co-op. <laughs> Maybe we will. Hey. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm with you, man. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze gets put on this bad list of good games. <laughs> the bad list of good games. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So what's my pick? See, this is this is tough. You notice that this year, even though it's the first year of next gen, yeah. right? Well, back then it was next gen, right? Um, look at all the good uh, Wii U games. Yeah, we had uh, Smash Bros. We got Tropical Cheese. We got Mario Kart Eight. We got Bayo Two. That's all in one year of the Wii U. And let me tell you what game is going to be on this list because I, I mean, come on, Mario Kart Eight. Yep, Mario Kart Eight is still selling today. The highest selling game on the Switch. What the hell? And it's a port of a Wii U game. Yeah. The game's amazing. <laughs> Mario Kart 8 is so good. It's just it's popular, man. More than anything else, it's just popular. Mario Kart 8 to me, like it refined that formula. Right. right, right. It it back then I remember that mm -hmm. um what is it? I remember that uh 
when Mario Kart came out, people were saying like, look, look at what Next Gen is doing. You know, they had a lot of really good looking games. They're like 30, 30 FPS games. Like right. you know, they looked good, but there was a lot of cross gen too. Mm-hmm. Mario Kart Eight stood up to those sixty FPS. Like it was seven twenty p. Sure, it didn't look as good or didn't have any AA for hell, but it looked fantastic. Like it ran really, really smooth. And that that to me like just shows you how Nintendo was so good at keeping up even without actually having the hardware to, to do so. Right. right why right. is Oris not there? Too much water. <laughs> I'm oh kidding. Oh my god. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're not IGN. Um, I just I didn't care for it. Yeah. I I I, I like Gen three a lot, but I just. It wasn't enough for me to be there. If you you can add it if you want. I don't know how you feel about um, Oris. You know, no. Okay, there you go. I like. I didn't <laughs> play it. Oh shit! There you go. That that was like the first one that I was like, eh. why even? Okay. Yeah. Nah, I mean, you played like, Gen Three already, so it was well, a big improvement. I, well, no, I, I got like the re-releases. That's right. That's right. And like, I enjoyed that for what it was, but this no. Yeah. Well, there it is. No. So that's fine. Uh, that's why it's not there. But anyway, let's get back to our list. So we got DKTF and MK8. What the heck? We got two Nintendo games. I mean, they're just, they're freaking good. So what's your next pick? God damn it, man. Why you got to do that to me? Um, let's see what we got. Um, Destiny. I mean, no, I'm, I'm joking, man. I'm, I mean, it, it, no. it could be a potential. You know, it's not no. a bad game. Are you kidding me, man? The you way played it, it a the, lot. I did, but it was because of the gameplay, not because yeah. of the story. The story was poop I mean, caca. I mean, just story. The Mario Kart 8 is up here. It has zero, literally zero story. <laughs> yeah, but Mario Kart 8 is just fun. <laughs> yeah, it is fun. Um, I would say, mind you guys, I did not have a Wii U. Or, and I, I don't have a Wii U. So I'm yeah. hoping a lot of the, like, these Wii U classics are ported to the Switch just like they have been. Yeah. Um, looking at Super Mario 3D World. Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. That would probably be because I I literally beat that game in every single side quest. Okay. That was in it. Everything. My wife and I actually we, we had yeah, two 100%? separate files. One hundred percent. Jesus. It's good. You should play it. I know you won't. It's not your type of game. <laughs> but you should. Okay. 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 I can see that. I mean, that did win Game of the Year that year at the Game Awards, which is yeah. always funny. No, I I found that hilarious because it had come out like two or three yeah. weeks before the actual GTA you know, or T A G A S. How do you feel about Bayonetta two getting a slide in there? Bayo two. Yeah. I mean, Bayo two. That one level that I played was fun, and that was just the first level. That was literally the intro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down. I I I think Bayo two deserves to be on this list simply because it refined again. It, it's a lot of refinement, right? It refines action gameplay right yeah, bayo yeah. 2 was so over the top every level that i finished i literally had to take a break i i, I was <laughs> like, like God, mentally I process need to, everything I, need, I just need to cool off yeah. there's so much shit it's yeah. so good yeah, yeah so i would put bayonetta 2 on this list i, I think bayonetta 2 is a fantastic game today the switch version is fantastic and nintendo was the one that actually published that for sega so i'm down there you go bayo 2 i'm but down. are you wondering what my uh counter pick to your uh dragon age decision is south park the stick of truth hell no it ain't <laughs> You're going to be surprised by this one, man. Dark Souls 2. Really? Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 has some of the worst design in maps. World design is yeah. awful. Yeah. Uh, some of the PvP was poorly, poorly it's managed. Broken, man. But I still played so much of that game. Really? And I liked it a lot. I hated that game. I know I you didn't did. even finish it. I know. It's sad. I finished that. I, I actually really enjoyed Dark Souls 2. And I know the uh, the uh, PS4 release. Well, I forget what it was called, but they, they fixed a lot of issues. Scholar of it. Sin? Scholar of Sin, yeah. Scholar, Scholar of First the, Sin. Scholar, yeah. First Sin? Yeah, I don't know. I don't freaking know. Um, Correct us, Internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to, that, that's, that's your counter. Really? Yeah. Dark Souls 2. God damn it, man. <clears throat> I'm sorry, dude. I know Nico. See, I've heard Sticko's Truth is really good, so. Okay. I'll call it. You call it. What? I called it last time, didn't I? Well, yeah, but yeah. I just flipped it. You, you don't want to flip it? Okay, I'll flip it for you then. Yeah, Come here, buddy. Come here, I'll flip it for I you. Don't, I don't want you to think that I'm like cheating or something <laughs> like that, man. You know? I gotta be fair. I gotta be fair. Here All go. right, heads. Damn, dude. It's like your third one, I think. Or no, your second one. You've no, only I done four years. Know, I don't know. I'm a noob, guys. I don't think. Dang it again <laughs> with the fuzz. The fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my geez, god louise dude seriously all right so here we go i'm gonna go so, with yep that's tier i don't know if you want to pick somebody else uh, hmm. this 
Ridley isn't up there. Nah, Ridley isn't. Even in, in actual people's hands, he's not even B. Poor Ridley. I love Ridley. Right, K. Want? Rule? Yeah. <sighs> I hate you. Ooh. K. Rule. He's freaking huge and slow. He has a good counter. Did I go Little Mac again? Nah, you know what? I love how technical he is with Richter. this, <laughs> Richter? <laughs> yeah, Richter. That's what happens when you play play Smash. He, for he plays years. a lot of Smash, like a lot of Smash, much more than I, than me. I'm a total noob by comparison. I mean, you guys have seen on streams. All right, let's see. Come on, Richter, let's go. Let's go. There we go. Oh, come on. Nice start. Nice God, start. Nice K. start. K. Look at this crap. Nice start. Thirty-seven percent by two hits. Boom. Wow. Let's go. Ah. Come on, Richter. Come on, Richter. Richter, don't. <sighs> go. Oh my lord. Yes. This is looking so bad right now. He has to. Oh yes. my god, dude. Come on, no, 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 come on. Richter, you have you have neutral advantage right now. God, come on, dude. There you go. Okay, bait him, bait him, bait him. There you go. Get that percentage up slowly but surely. You got this. Slow and steady wins the race. Nah, he's got to recover. Okay. He's got a really good recovery. How does that even hit over the platform? Richter, <laughs> do you know what air dodging is? You. Oh, well, he's dead. Game. Dragon Age Inquisition. There we go, baby. Ugh. Don't don't owe me. Ugh. Don't owe me. Come on, man. <laughs> Evan, don't do it, man. <laughs> what is that? He said Dragon Age deserves a win. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, don't hate on Dark Souls 2. I, I know it, it actually is not that good of a game, but I enjoyed it. It's so bad. I can admit it was <laughs> like, and like the thing is that I bought it when they like re released it on the PS4. Yeah, yeah I remember that. I, remember I think it was like, with you. Let's go. Wait, didn't you buy it on Black Friday? Yeah, I was with we you. Did. We met up yeah. at Target randomly. We're like, oh, hey. <laughs> we met up like on Black Friday. I'm just like, hey. <laughs> we ended up just like shopping together. It, so, was, it was a good time. Dude, 2014, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, Mario Kart 8, Bayo 2, and Dragon Age Inquisition. Not Let's a, go. Not a, not a bad year, but 2015. Holy shit this year. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, th this was this, this was, was a this was really tough. good year. Really good year. It is going to be tough. I'm this telling is you right tough. Now. Like, we got Halo 5, Undertale, under, under, Undertale, Xenoblade Chronicles X, Dying Light, Splatoon, until Dawn, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Ori and the Blind Forest, Fallout 4, The First Mario Maker, Blood Frigging Born, MGS5, Rocket League, and The Witcher 3. I that's I, I couldn't even just put 10. I literally was just like, fuck it. I'm just going to pick the best games because what? What? Oh. What? I know what my two picks are. Well, my, I mean, I'm going to pick first, and it's Undertale. Like, Undertale is... <sighs> my biased opinion with Undertale, it's the best game of the decade. I don't give a shit. No other game has gotten close to making me feel and think. And 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 like I I listened to that music for like two years after the game came out. Like I thought about that game almost on a daily basis for like a year. Like no other game has come close to doing that for me. So <laughs> that's my pick. I mean, do you agree with that one? Are you good with that? I mean, yeah, dude. It's, it's, <laughs> I mean, we saw him playing it for the first time on stream. So. Yeah, he he's been trying to get me to play since that. 2015. Yeah, since 2015. Uh, oh. It took it only took four years, man. <laughs> You know, biggie. No biggie. That's same thing. Same thing with Hunter Hunter. I tried Did to get this guy to watch to... Hunter Hunter for years. Yeah, and I good think anime. He, oh man, and and when he finally watched, it, he was like, "Dude, why didn't you push this on me more?" And I'm like, "I did, <laughs> I did, but you don't listen." Yeah. Oh man. Um, yeah. So, so uh, what's what's your pick? The man? Witcher Three. The Witcher Three. That's easy. That's. And again, a game, game that is not decade. perfect, but God, what a great game. It's what a like, frigging great game that was. Like, the, this was the opposite of Mass Effect. It, there yeah. is no black and white. It's all gray, So many baby. different endings, too. How many all endings did it have? Like, three or four? Uh, three or four endings. Right? Depending on, like, how you interact with, spoiler alert, with the yeah, spoilers. Siri and whatnot. But yeah. um, if you haven't played... Like, here's the thing. <clears throat> this is one of those few games that they... First off, kudos to CD Projekt Red because they're like, screw traditional DLC. You're gonna buy the game and you're gonna. Yeah, I think it was like experience. like 16 free DLCs. Oh, some were right. side quests, yeah, some were yeah, yeah. items that came yeah. into the game. You open the game, like the car, the case, and there's a little a little letter that says thank you for purchasing That's this right. game. Was, Our team worked nice really hard on it, and we yeah. appreciate you trusting us yeah. and giving us your hard earned money for this. I don't know if that's verbatim, but that just shows you the amount of love that they put into this. And then. Dude, the 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 one like side quest, if you were to call it, that stands out the most is the Bloody Baron. 
Oh my god, yeah. Bloody Baron was good. Like I really enjoyed it. Was that dude, a side quest? Well, I well no, I, I think you need a, a, you need like the main story, but you can yeah. keep on going. Oh. Like that's the thing. Like continuing his story, you don't need to. You just need to like get oh. the stuff to like move on to like the next area. Yeah. But it, like dude, that was t- a really good a quest, typical period. Typ- typical like, oh yeah, you know, I'm I'm a, a drunk and you know, blah yeah. blah blah, but yeah. no, I don't want to spoil it for you guys if you haven't played it. But yeah, play play Witcher 3. It is uh, Witcher and 3. It's on the Switch, guys. Yeah. Play, play Potato Mode. Switcher. Potato <laughs> Mode. Um, but yeah, that's definitely like my must have out of that. But there is a close second and I will let you go first. Oh yeah, it's a close second for you, huh? Yes. I wonder which one it will be actually. Right now, I mean, it, it, this one is easy for me. I think this is the easy pick, the third easy pick, Bloodborne. God damn it. That was my pick. Well, <laughs> well it, it's an easy pick. <laughs> it is an easy pick. Bloodborne got robbed that year. Oh, 100%. Robbed. 100%. Well, but I mean, I'm okay no, with The Witcher. I'm, I'm with Undertale. <laughs> I'm with Undertale, like, up there, though. Like, Undertale got robbed, for yeah. sure. I'm just in like, the game. I'm amazed at, like that well i mean i don't know undertale like to the like off camera like when i finished the game like i was just like listening to the music like non-stop and i was just like dude this is like so good hopes and dreams yeah Ah." Uh, undertale i don't know it was weird like i feel like it was popular that year but it came out kind of late in the year and look at what it's compared to exactly a little indie game whatever like it's not gonna compete with this crap you know exactly so it is what it is but bloodborne Blood freaking! I didn't play Bloodborne that year. I actually played it the year after when I got my PS4. After I told him for like a while, dude, you got to get this game. You, you him and Sean game. were just like pushing it on me. Got to get this game. And um, yeah, I didn't play it until 2016 when I got my PS4. And I loved it. Yeah. The That crazy mix of, you know, well, first it looks Lovecraft. No, I'm sorry. It's not Lovecraftian at first. First it's just gothic horror, right? Yeah. yeah like yeah. The, 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 the werewolves and, you know, like the, the vampire looking things, whatever. Mm-hmm. The, the zombie looking villagers, etc. And I just thought, wow, this is just kind of insane. Cool, whatever. <clears throat> and then the Lovecraftian, like, plot twist. Where mm-hmm. It's really aliens. Aliens? What? Yeah. That shit blew my mind. <laughs> yeah. And what a perfect mix. Aliens with gothic horror. I just, I never put those two together. Cthulhu, but, baby. Yeah. You know, Seriously, I, it's fantastic. I, I love it's it. It's well done. Love it. If you it. haven't played it, go play it. That's good. Please, it's tough, but it's good. Uh, yeah, but it's not as tough as like Sekiro. No, Sekiro's on a whole different level. Yeah, one hundred percent. Okay, so that was your pick. Your that second was pick. my. Well, I, yeah. Wait, no. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so what? What is? What is the 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 last pick then? Damn it! <clears throat> I'm sorry. This is hard. Is it? Yes, because, like. Dying Light was good. Splatoon right. was obviously good. Yeah. Um, I never finished Until Dawn. Uh, but Ori and the Blind Forest. Ori and the Blind Forest Ori is, the Blind is Forest. kind of fantastic. I'm, I'm leaning for that one. I am leaning for that one as well. Oh, crap. No like, no discussion? No, no man. Like, no, dude. Like, Ori, if you guys, you know, I think I talked about it in, like, one of our previous videos where I was like, you know, in, with his initial reaction to the trailer like, <clears throat> way back in the day for Ori and the Will of yeah, the Wisp. I was yeah, like, oh, you know, like this, this looks nice, blah, 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 blah. And then yeah. I played the game. Like, I bought it on Steam, and I was just like, <sighs> wow, this game was great. Like, this is awesome. This is a legit yeah. game. This is really good. Yeah, so, Ori is um, amazing. Yeah, you know, Ori, definitely. Okay. 100%. Then, hey. <laughs> Yeah, okay. there's there's like no discussion yeah I, I think we're like full agreements for 2015 yeah. yep so we got undertale Holy the witcher shit, 3 year. bloodborne and ori in the blind forest fantastic i mean year. dude come on it, it was a good year it was it, a good 100 percent was a great year man so let's go ahead and see what's in dude, 20 just, what? we're, we're halfway well no we're now we're officially over the halfway mark yeah. of the decade what a what a great decade in gaming yeah uh and yes evan for sure 2016 look at his list it was some big hitters for sure mm-hmm. but it was a relatively chill year but this is where we talk about uncharted 4 but we'll get to that yep 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 yep, yep so yep, the yep, list yep. inside pokemon sun and moon mm. the witness lol the last <laughs> guardian <laughs> super hot dark souls 3 final fantasy 15 another lol overwatch firewatch <laughs> uncharted 4 dishonored 2 doom 2016 and titanfall 2 okay all right so those lols again. I made the list. He, he made I, the list. I, I, you know, I did talk to him about it before we even got here, but and he agreed with the picks. Yeah. But the lols is because Sean wanted us to get into the witness so much. He bought me the game. I don't know if he, did he buy you the game too. I think so. Right. He bought it on, on Steam. Did you even play it? No. I played it. I, I, didn't, put my I didn't even boot it up. Three hours maybe into that. That game is fucking stupid hard. I got upset playing witness. I'm stupid. I guess I'm not good at puzzles. <laughs> right I, there with I, you. And some of those were just so like. 
like how do you even figure that out kind of deal you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so it was more trial and error and i hate that kind of puzzle design right, right. so i just i gave up on that crap yeah um but anyway <clears throat> so out of these oh and final fantasy 15 i also put a lull on that simply because um yeah because it's final fantasy 15 it, 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 that game is incomplete I the story is almost nonsensical for so much of it, and mm-hmm. the game. If you play twenty uh, Final Fantasy fifteen today, you actually have a full game versus what you played back then. Which after thirteen is totally different. Fucking dumb, dude. I hate what it did with fifteen, but it's not the it's not the team's fault. Tabata had to literally start almost from scratch. Yeah, from a failed versus thirteen, which looked infinitely more interesting. So it is what it is. That's fifteen is not a ten year game in the making. That was no. a two year game development mm-hmm. cycle. But Salabi. so what is your must be on this list pick? <clears throat> Wait, mm. did I pick the last one or did you? No, oh, no, I did. Well, yeah. Okay. So. No. Yeah, I wanted to. I started with that one. Okay. All right. So. <coughs> Excuse um, me, guys. <clears throat> dang, this is hard. I'd probably say Pokemon Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon. Yeah, dude. Wow. That was the that was the game that actually. That like, was a great game. The, like, wow. I just I, out of all these, Sun and Moon. I am yeah, very because, surprised like, by that pick. I'm not happy with the Last Guardian, and we've had discussions about it in the oh, past. Oh, I'm gonna fight you for that one. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fight you for that. I love Last Guardian, man. But um, that game made me cry. Yeah, it's okay. a lot. It's all right. Oh, you didn't finish it <laughs> because it's crap. You got no. It's not. It's Ooh, horrible AI. You know what? You know what? We're, he's gonna play it on stream. <laughs> He's gonna play on stream. Watch, and he's gonna be like, "Wow, it actually wasn't as bad as I remember." Watch. Uh, maybe watch. they patched it I, I because I, the AI when it first it, released it was got like horrible. One patch, and it wasn't AI. That's focused. probably the one that fixed it. It wasn't AI focused. It, it was about. It's I think it was the camera. Poo 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 Whatever. Anyway, it's pure shit. <clears throat> so Pokemon Sun and Moon. You know what? Damn. Do I disagree? Do you disagree? I don't know. What, well, I don't know. A lot of other games I put over Sun and Moon. Inside was a better game than Sun and Moon, in my opinion. I haven't played Inside. Inside is oh, it's it's been one of those games that I, one of the indie games that I'm just like, uh, ooh, I want to buy it. I want to buy it. But something ooh. else. Right now, I'm playing the Messenger guys. Like that's right. that's that's what I'm really. This playing is hard. Like right now. I don't know if I want to let you put in Sun and Moon. <laughs> Okay, I mean, you, you know what? That's fine. No, you know what? No, 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 no. That's your first pick. No, no, no. I'm because, gonna because you know what else I can put in? Hmm. No, 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 no. Stop. Because remember, we can, we only get two must picks. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's right. it. And one and one of them, we have to fight. So I'm gonna put Sun and Moon. Nico, I believe you, man. I believe I, so I believe good. Inside is Inside is solid. It, yeah. It's it's on my list. Like on my list of games to get. Yeah, trust me, it's there. You, you'll finish it in like two settings. Literally, I, I believe it. Super short. I mean, if it's like it's Limbo, so like I think yeah. it's shorter than Limbo, isn't it, it? It's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same. It's okay, the same, yeah. then. I mean, I know the caliber of quality that they can do, so I'm I'm totally cool with that. So my my actual gotta be on this list. Pick Overwatch is Overwatch. Absolutely, that's his bay. I, I don't know 100%. how many hours I played of Overwatch. Hundreds, hundreds I, I, over I've two be accounts. At least, yeah, over two. One on PS4 and one on PC. Hundreds. Um, hours. Pretty sure I've hit at least five hundred hours, maybe a little less. Um, but yeah, I mean it's it's bay. I I play that game probably still most than any other game, and I hate it. Sometimes I just want to stop playing Overwatch, but then I'm like, fuck, I want to play Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> so That's Overwatch him. Overwatch gets in this list um, okay alright any other game that you feel like gotta be on that list god dude it's actually a pretty pretty solid year considering because Dark Souls 3 was I was gonna say fantastic. Dark Souls 3 yeah like that's that's cause it was the culmination and like the, the biggest thing that I loved about Dark Souls 3 was the throwbacks There's to Dark Souls 1 a lot of nostalgia, lot of nostalgia. nostalgia. But I, and like I, I the continuation well. of the lore yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, guys, I'm a lore junkie, and like <laughs> when when Dark Souls One came out, like I played that game and I read every single line of script that was there, and like I just I loved it. Yeah. So I, I would definitely Dark Souls Three. Yeah, because I'm, I'm fighting like, you on that one. Because I, 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 it's man, I, you know, I, I don't really want to fight you about about this stuff, but you know. <laughs> nah, Dark Souls 3 yeah I'm with you on that one it yeah. is a really 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 good game like really really good game yeah yeah. I don't think it was a good, as good as Bloodborne but it did no, something no, no, no. better it was different it was different it was, yeah, totally it was different, just different yeah. Bloodborne was way more action oriented like it rewarded you Ooh, for Bloodborne going so in and, and going for that kill yeah, we need to replay that yeah I'm, so I'm down good. I'm down anyway. definitely 100% down okay so now we have one one pick left yeah you go damn Not this the- is this is actually really hard for me because there are like literally three or four other games that I would totally put on this list. You got I loved Titanfall 2. I loved Doom 2016. 
Not as much as Titanfall 2. I would put Titanfall 2 over that. Yeah. Um, really, really liked Inside, and I obviously just said I cried at The Last Guardian. So obviously love that too. But which one of these does deserve to be more on this list? The Last Guardian. I knew you were going to go with of that. Of course you knew. And I know you don't agree with it. Remember <laughs> Tokyo Mirage? Nico, we can't just throw Tokyo Mirage because we never played it. <laughs> we, don't, we never played the freaking game. You know, One of us had to at least play the game. So yeah. we are, we, I, I am looking forward to the Switch we released though. So that will be a, probably a thing. But So you say The Last Guardian. What do you say, dude? Do not... Oh, you tell me Uncharted 4. Ooh, I was going to say Uncharted Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so here, here, here. You know, you know what? Evan, Evan, Evan I'm with wants, Evan on this yeah, one, dude. He said, he said it. Do it. <laughs> Evan, this is the reason why I have issues with Uncharted 4. It's super simple. Super Just simple. get into it. Just get into Uncharted it. 4 is a game that is focused on an ass pull of a story, right? <laughs> you over here for three games. We, we know about Victor... And we know about Nathan. We know that they have history. On Uncharted 3, we see Nathan as a kid. And we see him that he's right. an orphan, essentially. And that Victor essentially kind of sort of raised him after his you know, teenage years, whatever. Yeah. And then for whatever reason, no mention of the dude ever, 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 ever. He has a, he has a brother. He has a freaking brother. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. What? He has a brother. Who? Nathan. Yeah. Uncharted 4. Remember, he has a brother, right? Yeah. That was never mentioned in the other games. Yeah, ever. it was. No, it was not. In uh, the PS uh, Vita one. We're talking about the main games that most people play. And I'm pretty sure... It, I, I'm, uh, guys, correct me if I'm wrong. It, it, what was it? Golden Abyss? I think so. Yeah. Wasn't that... No, wasn't his brother in Golden Let Abyss? Let him know. No, hell no, he was not. No! No, 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 no. Am no. I wrong? His brother that? was a whole new character for Uncharted 4. Really? That was a big issue. People can, were like eating, like, I kind of want to Google this, man. If you want to, go right ahead, Google it. We, <laughs> he's Googling it right now. <clears throat> what are, what are you, I mean, you going to Google? Oh, wait, What's first I got on. <laughs> Uncharted, Golden Abyss. You just put a, I don't know. Characters. Characters, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, man. It's not Jason Dante. Is that what you're thinking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is exactly what I'm thinking about. That guy? His brother's not in there, dude. You're right, brother, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. That was 2011. That wasn't even, Uncharted 3 hadn't even come out yet. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. Of you're course right. I'm right. Of course I'm right. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get back to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were saying. That and also the biggest, this is one of my biggest pet peeves and what will really drive down a game for me. The pacing. Pacing was kind of sort of god awful. Only in Ireland. Not only in Ireland. Not only. What, what else? Near the end of the game. Honestly, like those are you last about, couple like, of missions. Spoiler alerts for everybody. But like, are you talking about like at the end? Like the pirate? I don't know. I feel like the pirate ship, for example, was such an anticlimactic moment, right? Um, having the double, triple cross. Like, also another thing that I didn't like about. But well, okay, well, let me finish my pacing idea. So Ireland was really bad pacing, but there was so much unnecessary climbing in that game. I agree. Oh my god. I agree. It was like God of War. <laughs> well, we'll get to twenty eighteen. <laughs> um, <laughs> But the other thing that really like this, this like just, I really didn't like about Uncharted Four besides the pacing. Um, damn it, you me forget what it was. I hate you. you. You fucked me up right now. I did that on purpose, guys. You, you brought up God of War, and I was like, oh my god, God of War. But I'm gonna talk about that. Oh, I hate you. Damn it. Oh, I had a train of thought going and ruined it for me. Oh my god, it was, it was so pacing. good. And there was something else, and I am not remembering what the other thing. I hate you so much. For the record, Fuck. guys, he's younger than I am. Oh, I am enough. Damn it. <laughs> uh, there was a, a really a, a, an unfortunate lack, lacking of set pieces. Uncharted 3 had way too many set pieces. Way I agree. Many. Way too I many. I agree. However, um, Uncharted 4 had way too little. They dialed it back way too much. And their best one, we saw the whole thing at E3. I hated that. That was such a good uh, set piece. Yeah. We saw the entire thing at E3. Yeah. yeah. With the failed PS4. Yeah. 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 They yeah, were like, well, that. at least you know it's real. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Persona 5 didn't come out in the States until 2017. So, yeah, sorry. guys. It doesn't count. 2016 was a Japan. Yep. Release. But um, we'll get to 2017. We're yeah. still in 2016. Yep, yep, um, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, and I know, Evan. I agree. God of War. Ooh. Anyway. So, what? I mean, are we fighting this? Is that what it is? For what? Uncharted 4 versus uh, The Last Guardian? <laughs> yes, let's do it. <laughs> oh, this is so good, guys. <laughs> I, I am so excited because I really don't like The Last Guardian, like, at all. Um, well, I'm going to force you to play it. 
Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk. After you play entitled Goose Game. Oh, that's fine. I'll do that. That's not a, not a problem. All right. So let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, uh, boom. We flip. oh yeah. Shoot. I totally forgot about that. Um, you flip this time. And I call. Uh, heads. Tails, yeah, baby. Yeah, man. This kid, man. What do you want? Give me... You know what? I'm going I'm to bring out Yoshi. Yoshi. Yoshi has some crazy moves, so hopefully he can... Oh, you got K. K. Rool. Heck yeah, bro! Oh, what a what a scumbag! I am a scumbag. <clears throat> I hate K. Rool. I love this character. Do you hate Jigglypuff more or King K. Rool? Uh, Jigs more for Jigs. sure. Oh my god! Let's see, let's see, let's see. Dude, Yoshi is eating him up right now. Let's go! Uh, oh, that was a good. That was a good. See, K. K, K. Rool's recovery is so unfair. I think it's great. No, it's actually about? a really good recovery, but of course you think it's great. <laughs> They, oh, Ooh. those snipes! Let's. Oh, Yoshi, no, you got too greedy. Grab that, grab that freaking crown, dude, and let him get it back. Ooh, let's go, yo! Yoshi's kind of putting a spanking yeah, oh on my God. K. Rool right now. No. Come on, man. Yo, K. Rool just doesn't know what he's doing. He's like, what do I do? How do I fight this guy? What's the counter? <gasps> oh, yo, that was kind of sick. <laughs> God. Yes, the last guardian, baby. Guys, we were like talking about this, and I was like, the one game that that was the one game that I didn't want <laughs> in there, like was Last Guardian. I was like, I just, I just don't want it in there. It's, yeah, it, it, it's... yeah, Last Guardian, baby. Poo -poo -choo, go. baby. Don't hate on it. God dang it, man. <clears throat> okay. Oh well. Well, 2016 right. ends with Pokemon Sun and Moon, Overwatch, Dark Souls Three, and the Last Guardian. Wow. Yeah. Wow, what a what a what a weird. Honestly, even looking at this, I'm like, you know, there's probably better games out there, but I don't care. This is eh, it's on here. Super Hot yeah. was fantastic, by Super the way. Is, is we didn't talk about game. it much, but that's a great freaking game. I never finished and it. Inside, oof. But anyway, that's 2016. Let's All move right. on to 2017. Let's move on to 2017. Oh boy, what a year. Oh guys, <sighs> we've got Prey 2017. We've got Resident Evil 7. We got Mario and Rabbits. We got Sonic Mania, Hellblade, Neo, Hollow Knight, Near Automata. Cuphead, Horizon Zero Dawn, lol. Super Mario Odyssey, P5, and Breath of the Wild. How, how, how do you, and I'm sure, I'm sure, if there's a game that you want to see on this list, just let us know. But wow, wow, what a year. That's a hell of a year. What a year. Hell of a year. And and this is kind of, <laughs> Nico's like Persona 5 and whatever game is second. <laughs> I know, it doesn't matter, right? Because like the second game is still gonna be a great game. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, oh, let, man. can we pick one though, like that has to be on this list? Sure, go you for it. You know which one it is. I, I don't know. Yes, you do. Say it, because I say the last one. <laughs> oh no, you said the last one. It's Pokemon Sun and Moon. Yeah. Near Automata. Oh, I was gonna say, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn. I hate you. No, I'm joking. I'm joking, guys. Near Automata. Uh, that's. I, I have issues with Horizon Zero Dawn. I never I got ten hours in. I dropped it hard. Yeah, like it felt good dropping it. But no, Near Automata. I, I was joking about that, by the way. Oh no, I know. I know. Okay, all right, cool. Um, Near Automata, one hundred and ten percent. Like Near Automata is the example of a game like Undertale that can, can only can only be told in that medium. You you, you cannot like, like you can't make a movie out of. You can't make an anime a manga. It's not going to be the same. No. Nier Automata has to be experienced as a game. It has to be. And oh my god, what a freaking experience that is. Though there Love are it. books and plays that build <laughs> the so lore much. So, so much. So much, but it, like the game is just insane. I cannot yeah. wait. And it's not for the like sequel, it's funny cuz there's going to be one. You, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's there's the, they already teased a new announcement, so it's going to happen. Yeah. But like you look at you look at Nier Automata, you look at Two B, and it's like okay, that's a sexy goth Lolita girl, whatever, sure. And then, uh, I don't know, like what Yoko Taro tried to tell, a story that he tried to tell, and and Yoko Taro is a man that tends to tell really depressing, sad stories. But the way that story ended, I don't know if you guys if you guys have not played Nier, like a hundred percent, like seriously, a hundred percent finishing and play that game, get to ending E. You got to see that ending, um, just ending on that positive note. Of like life is yours to pick. It's your choice what happens next. Like yeah. that shit. I don't know. And the whole meta, the whole fourth uh, fourth wall breaking stuff that he he, he brought in. Damn near automata. Ooh, it's fucking good. I really don't think the sequel is gonna live up to it. Honestly, hell no. There's no way. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, like that, like that. Um, so do what's it. your yeah pick? I, I there's one on here that to me is dumb easy. There's actually two that are dumb easy. And then the, the last one is going to be kind of tough. 
So. Well, I definitely, um, I agree on Persona Five, but mm. it's it's hard. That one is tough because for me. because like there's there's two other games here that I would put over Persona Five. That well, like then that's what I'm saying. Like Breath of the Wild, like yeah. I yeah beat yeah. it 100 percent yeah Damn, like 100 every single yeah you can you got it the up. poopy you got the poopoo no, no that's oh. the one thing that i did oh, not okay. get. i'm like damn but all the shrines everything else everything else like i didn't get the poopy <laughs> 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 but everything else like i did 100 percent, dude and, and it's like wild man it is it, it just like i was sitting there and i remember i so when i first bought my switch it was uh i think like a month or two after it had released oh really you didn't buy on day one no Oh shit! I, I got it on. Toy, I got it at Toys R Us, the one off of OBT. Oh wow, that's crazy! I thought Went, we all got it day one. No, I, I was like, no, I'll wait. And oh, then like man. I saw all the hype around it. I'm just like, maybe it's good. And then I was yeah. like, you know what? It makes perfect sense. I'm going to Poland. That's I can't right. take my PS4. That's right. You were a little hesitant to get the Switch. Yeah, that is right. And I and I went ahead and I bought it. And the first game that I got was Zelda. Yeah, of course. I mean, you gotta get Breath of, Breath of the Wild. Wild. Yeah. And I remember like killing my battery multiple times on that flight oh yeah <laughs> like it, it's just it's that damn good I mean, the battery life sucks on a switch but it's it, still, it, it yeah. is what it is i mean they, they have the outlets and everything yeah but, yeah but dude that like Bre- yeah I'm, i mean there's the no wild. discussion here they're, breath they're of the like, wild it's not my favorite zelda game i think it needs to learn breath of the wild 2 sincerely hope they learn from their mistakes like we, we need better dungeons we need better bosses because the bosses were mm-hmm. kind of disappointing especially calamity again and what a boring ass fight cool very cool spectacle to see the yeah. first time but but you, look look at how cool but the wild 2 looks like and breath i don't want to i don't want to go like deep into that amazing. into that discussion yeah, but yeah yeah, yeah. No, yeah. But just yeah so breath of the wild definitely though like that game no other open world game has really invited me into it as breath of the wild did so but yeah, yeah. but then after that like i would don't say that <clears throat> so you go ahead i don't know man this is really hard because like i i can totally put p5 i put in a lot of hours and fu- funny enough i actually never beat persona 5 i got no, to the no, very no, last I... dungeon and i dropped it for something else and i just never made time to go back to it mm-hmm. i think i was hoping for a switch release and it just never happened i don't know well yeah because there was rumors for royal for a while yeah yeah but dude hollow knight really what do you mean really no i'm okay with it hollow knight is amazing i know i that's another game that i'd be 100 percent. yeah I, guys i'm not a completionist by any means but when i love a game i finish it 100 percent. i say screw everything else that's coming yeah. out i am finishing this game hollow knight is going and, on this list man all right i'm done i'm yeah, fine with that is going on this list if you saw my top 10 games <laughs> <laughs> right right that's one of them <coughs> well it was Sorry. indie games under 20 bucks but that's that's yeah. one of the ones like the amount of love care and detail yeah, that went yeah. to that i so. agree daniel hollow Hall knight is great and i mean Son- i loved sonic mania i Me loved too. cuphead i love p5 i loved odyssey Damn, what a great year mario but- plus rabbits was like such a like sleeper hit for me yeah that nobody saw coming yeah mario rabbits that you and sean like spent so much time playing I, those games another <coughs> game that i didn't beat it 100 percent because there there's way too much stuff to like do on the side but like very very much surprised by it so tell me dude what do you think should be the last game to add on this list i, I don't know man i don't know <laughs> nico just remember how sad you guys were about joker and smash persona is the right answer <laughs> you're you're you know you, you have a lot of sense here but you gotta remember one big thing about that announcement it was the fact that joker was there in the first place like what the hell is his what in what is persona doing in smash yeah that was like the biggest like whew, you know yeah damn it's hard because we also have odyssey and i really liked odyssey but i also have my issues with it odyssey was fun i think i got like uh 600 or 700 moons yeah i i, I, I didn't complete it 100 de- definitely not it's way too many so what do you think i don't know man <clears throat> you gotta tell me a Wait, pick is, is it I'll my agree. turn or your turn it, well it's this is like the one we were <laughs> able to kind of go against okay. so we both say whatever we agree or disagree on okay so i would definitely say um what, what do we got on here? Hollow Knight, Breath of the Wild. Hollow Breath of the Wild. And Nier and Automata. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I would say P5, man. Like, 100%. I can't... P5, I, no, dude, no. <clears throat> P5 has not only a great story... And I didn't finish it, guys. I tried to finish it before I went to Poland, and then I ended up buying a Switch. Um, but, like... P5 has a story and a message that transcends yeah. gaming. That Wake up, get up, get out uh, there. Yeah, yeah that's literally... Like, get up man do something make a change you want seriously. change go make the change yourself Ooh. seriously like come so on good. man 
So good. And the music overall is just like... Yeah, yeah. Nico, you said it, that soundtrack. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure at my wedding in 2018, I used um, Last Surprise. I'm pretty sure I put it as a... As the um, intro? No, no, the... no, no, no. It was during the cocktail hour. Oh, yeah? I had Last Surprise <laughs> playing on, on uh, you know? I mean, come on. P5 is literally attached to my wedding. So. Yeah. You like... know what? I think it's going to be another um, unanimous year. Yeah, yeah, Persona 5 will be up there. Yeah. All right, cool. I- I'm cool with that. 110%. So 2017. No, no. Again, unanimous. We got Near Automata, Breath of the Wild, Hollow Knight, and P5. Ooh. Oof. Yeah. Oof. He- Hellblade. You know what, Daniel? Hellblade... From I haven't played it all the way to complete. He hasn't I finished put it. Put in like three or four hours, and I really, really liked it. Oh, the stream is bugged. Is mm. the stream bugged, guys? Can you tell us if it's messed up? Here, I'm doing this, and I'm talking. Three, two, one. Can you tell me how buggy it is? Cause I need to know. <clears throat> no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Matthews, try to uh, maybe maybe restart your stream because it's fine on our end. It's cool for me, man. Oh, yeah, and everybody's saying, too. So, okay, cool. Yeah, cool. Awesome sauce. All right, so there we go. I was scared, man. Yeah, we told him, no. Okay, thank you anyway for that. Thank you, I appreciate appreciate it. All right, so that's 2017, unanimous. Again, Nier, Breath of the Wild, Hollow Knight, and P5. What a freaking, ooh. So good, so good. All right, so let's go ahead and... (laughs) Move on to 20. (laughs) Turn it off and turn it back on. Classic. (laughs) It works. (laughs) That shit actually works, man. Like, this morning during the last stream, I was like, ah... 2018 is a funky year, man. We got Celeste. Ooh. I Ooh. funky funky in what Ooh. sense? We'll see. Okay. We got Dead Cells. We got Dragon Ball Fighters. We got God For of War. Sh- we got Minute. Monster Hunter World. Octopath. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Red Dead Redemption 2, Spider-Man, and Super Smash Bros. You, you can tell I got a little lazy with the freaking <laughs> I put Pokemon Let's Go Pika. Let's go Pika. <laughs> I got lazy with the list, but whatever. That's cool. That's cool. I say funky because you look at this list, and to me, besides Celeste. I don't see any games that I'm just like screaming like, whoa, oh my God, transcends gaming, right? You don't have any like blow your mind kind of game that just kind of, you know, it, there's no Nier Automata on this list. Well, yeah. I mean, besides Celeste. Nier Automata is like one like every generation. Yeah, once every decade. <laughs> like, get, well, Undertale too. Undertale's another one. But. Well, yeah, but still, man, that's like... Yeah that's that's not a common a commonality it, it isn't it isn't you're right and I, you shouldn't expect it every year but i just no. thought going from 2017 to 2018 right you can right. see some some of a, of a difference here right, right? Right. so i mean i think there's one here that i i feel like we both agree on right yeah it's so it's, yeah <laughs> i mean guys it, it was our goatee it was the the tgr's goatee for the year yeah and and, and you were gonna, were you gonna say that one first yeah i was i knew you were like <laughs> i'm sorry that i took your thunder from that no, one. no it's okay it's okay but celeste is just if you if you have not seen our game of the year awards for that year watch it we you know we kind of go into it it's it's a fantastic fantastic it's I mean, a yes, great WWE game wwe is a second runner <laughs> it's a <Yeah>. runner up <laughs> Um, no, no Delta Room, Matteo, simply because I haven't finished Delta Room. I know it's like three hours long. I haven't even started um, it, so. But it, I feel like it's just part one of a much larger narrative that still hasn't come out, so I don't want to... It's chapter one. Yeah. You know? That's literally in the title. <clears throat> so, all right, Celeste. So what What would be a second pick? I'm going to give this one to you because I feel like it took Celeste from me. SSBU? Yeah, absolutely. Like, you saw how much I've played... I know. Like, World of Light. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ugh, so yeah. good. Super, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, definitely like, definitely on this list. Come on. What such a, a, such a love letter to gaming. For sure. And it's still going to... I can't... What, what's, what's, part, what's the fifth fighter? I don't know. We'll find out sometime, I guess. <sighs> okay. so, so, so what's... I know you love Octopath Traveler. Oh, my God. Octopath is my favorite game of all time. It isn't. <clears throat> I don't know, dude. This is actually really Are you hard. serious? Really? It is, because... I could, t- uh, like, totally I, peg you. Well, I love Monster Hunter World. Uh-huh. I want to give it to Monster Hunter World. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to give it to Monster Hunter World. That's what I'm saying. But like, do you agree with that choice? Of, as it being, like, the... Like, will you counter that with anything, or is there another yeah, game Spider-Man. that you would rather... So is that your counter? Yeah. Is there another game on this that you would put as a surefire? Oh, as a surefire? Yeah, what's a surefire game for you? I would say Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Yeah. You, did you not? I don't disagree with Spider Man. I like Spider Man being on there. God damn it, man! Why are you agreeing with me? This is supposed to be entertaining for them. Because Spider Man was another game that touched me. 
in inappropriate ways. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. You like you it, like it, uh, Doc Ock? Oh, Doc Ock. Oh, Doc Ock in uh, in in Into the Spider Verse though. The lady. Yeah, that, that was a was nice so twist. Oh God, uh, so you, good. If you have Netflix, go watch it. <laughs> watch Into the Spider Verse. Best Spider Man movie in a long time. I agree. Off topic. I agree. Totally um, off topic. Yeah, Spider Man was a really good game. Perfect, perfect pacing, length. perfect length. Oh my! See, Nico says it was a little too long. I actually disagree. No. I was so like that Red Dead Redemption Two was too long. Like Spider Man to me, like had the perfect length. Yeah. For that campaign, you know, I finished in like twenty hours and I felt good. Yeah. You know, the only um, part that I didn't like was uh, the Vulture part. Really? Like uh, where you're like or not Vulture? I'm sorry, Scorpion. Where you're hallucinating? Oh, the hallucinations. Yeah. I didn't like that too much. I hated the stealth. Stealth segments are yeah. kind of crap. With like uh, Mary Jane and yeah, Miles yeah, Morales. And Miles, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but aside from that, like it was. It was, a really, it was I can't wait for Spider Man Two. Spider Man Two is oh, gonna be fantastic. I know it's gonna run on PS Five. <laughs> that that SSD good. tech. It's gonna look good. Oof, that's gonna be sexy. Um, but yeah, I, I think. Oh man, so that means I gotta put Monster Hunter World against something else. Yeah. Unless you agree with Monster Hunter World. Um, I mean, God of War. Are you serious? Yeah. You really serious? Yeah. Oh man, really? We're doing this Monster Hunter World versus God of War, dude. God of War is it was freaking goaty. Yeah, I mean whatever. I, I I I God of War was Uncharted Four syndrome, but expanded even more. And I thought the combat was a step down from what came before it. The story was freaking great though. The story was fantastic, but it can't it can't it, it no no Monster Hunter World. I has barely a story, but it, the gameplay is just so frigging refined yeah. in that game. Like, yeah, no, there's just no comparison for me. So, I guess we're fighting it out, dude. God of War. <sighs> Where's Monster the Hunter. point? Thanks, Evan. I don't know, dude. You flipped the last, didn't you? There's... There you go. Oh, you I flipped flip it, it now. Yeah. All right. Uh, heads. Damn it, dude. He's been so lucky <laughs> with his flips. Uh, I don't want God of War on this list. <laughs> oh, this is so good. I freaking love it, guys. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It is. It is. All right. Let's see. Are you, are you gonna? I'm gonna go with Yeah. Last time? He did, right? No, Yoshi won. Yeah, Yoshi won. Yeah. So you're gonna stick with that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do this. You guys think K rule? The, yeah. the, the salty matchup? The salty rematch, oh, dude. Let's, Let's see go. this. I'm curious. And for all you guys that are new, that are just joining, welcome and smash that like button for Smash. Thank yes, you. do it. <laughs> Here we go. So, so K. Rule is playing very differently this time. Come of on, course. Yoshi. Let's go. What are you doing? Let's go. Yoshi, you're fighting for your dragon brothers. Come on. Oh my lord. Oh, he's yes. a dinosaur. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <gasps> what the hell was that air dodge, <laughs> Yoshi? Yoshi. Yoshi, you're dead. You guys saw it. King K. Rule. This this hurts me a little bit, but I'm putting God of War over Monster Hunter. <laughs> oh. I love it, guys. Man. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Rip hardcore. Yoshi Rip. fucked up. <laughs> oh my god, that All was right. good. Whatever. Anyway, that was good. I I enjoyed it for what it was, 100 percent, man. So 2018 ends with Celeste, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, Spider Man, and God of War. Not a bad year, man. No, man. Not a bad year. And I mean, God, it was really know. hard to like pick things. The only thing that yeah. I was like 100 percent sure wasn't going to be in there is Octopath, Octopath Tra Traveler. Traveler. <laughs> yeah. Like to any fans it's, of Octopath. Like, sorry. I'm sorry, man. Sorry. Like I just I couldn't. Yeah. I, I tried. Yeah. I well. finished. I think like three or four of like the main stories and i just i couldn't yeah they couldn't so <laughs> bet me <laughs> <laughs> all right guys this is it the, the end of the of the decade the, of the decade the end of the decade for 2019 again kind of, kind of an interesting year we've got yeah. the outer worlds star wars jedi fallen order yoshi's crafted world right yoshi's crafted world i think that's what it's called yeah, yoshi's crafted it, i got world. lazy super mario maker 2 <laughs> Sekiro, Judgment, Fire Emblem Three Houses, Control, Death Stranding, Resident Evil 2 Remake. I'm missing something, aren't I? I don't know. Yes, I am. No. Uh, I made this list before I played Sayonara Wild Hearts. Yeah, so Sayonara Wild Hearts is on there, too. Sayonara Wild Hearts is on this list. You don't see it, but can it's, I, can it's I, can on I there. Can I edit this? Yeah. Nico, no, I'm not deleting Death Stranding. Hell no, that's a great game. Get out of here. Sayonara Wild Hearts. Matter of fact, put uh, put make Death Stranding, like, like I don't know, make it all caps or something for Nico. 
<laughs> Make it all caps. Okay, all right. Literally. What oh, are you doing? I can't, <laughs> I, I can't type, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Boom. I ain't going nowhere, Nico. Okay. This was actually a pretty tough year. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do what you... what? Okay. What do you think is a must wait, be? Wait, wait, wait. Am I going first or are you going first? Well, I went first last time for Okay, you. all right, cool. So I kind of took, the, took your... Fire Emblem Three Houses. I can't disagree with that. Like, guys, Fire Emblem Three Houses, for all intents and purposes, was my first Fire Emblem game. It was. But, yeah. damn! That what is a freaking game. so What a great game. Three Houses, like, it... it they learned so much from Awakening and, um, and like, Birthright so much so so much. i'm happy because yeah. everything that i saw like in the trailers leading up and all that stuff like i, I just and then the music yeah oh, oh my, my god, god yeah. dude yeah the music is so freaking good like it, it story it, is really good too i mean you oh, know yeah. obviously having the three different houses like obviously you know and having those different storylines like intersect and change depending on who you like it it's it's good it's just a good game without spoiling anybody or anything to anybody that hasn't played the game already once you finish it the first time around, you're gonna want to know what happens. Yeah. the The replay value is there; it's evident. Like you want to play. And <laughs> Daniel's like, I need to play it two more times. I get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm right there with you. He needs more mantra energy. <laughs> 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 nah, don't worry, we had Death Stranding for that. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so that's a perfect, perfect must pick. So now yeah, it's yeah, up totally. to me to throw in another game in here, huh? That is a must pick. Damn it! This is really hard. Come on. Like, I want to I wanna say Control. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I really want to say Control because, ooh, I have, we have not played we Disco Elysium. We haven't played Elysium, Disco Elysium. Super Elysium. Sorry. It's, it's on the list. It's on the list for sure, but it's clearly a lot. <laughs> I know, Nico. <laughs> I know I want to pick Control, but, man, it's so hard because Sayonara Wild Hearts, like, came out of nowhere for me. Like, we played it. The first time we played it was right before the TGA stream because, like, people on Discord were just like, yo, you got to play this game. Yeah. And we just, like, whatever. He bought it. I played it. And then I bought it at home, like, later. And I was just like, yeah, this game is freaking fantastic what a blend fuck it saying our wild heart is my pick do you agree or disagree i agree 100 cool. percent. like come on come sayonara on. sayonara wild do hard to <laughs> <laughs> oh man great now you're putting it back in my court and now i have to pick something oh man sekiro marionette i mean sekiro sekiro, sekiro is, is kind of godlike Ooh. it's it won Game of the Year for a reason. Yeah, I, I agree. It broke um, a controller for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> I, I tossed away that controller, by the way. It's fine. It's, it in, it's somewhere. It's broken. Yeah, it's totally broken. Um, I I mean, I agree. Like, Sekiro. Sekiro? Yeah, man. Like, I'm sitting here. Like, the Outer Worlds is, is, is good at what it does, but I think we talked about it. Like, it, it was, like, the hottest game that we dropped the fastest. Because, yeah, yeah like, seriously. Because yeah. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order came out. Um, Great what game, else? too. But... Like, Death Stranding came out like there were there were so many games that came much. out this holiday season that we were just like we have to devote time to something and that was just the game that just dropped like that and i think yeah. i clocked in like 5 10 15 hours i think hours. i put right around 15 hours yeah like because we were both talking about about doing our like first 10 impressions um but yeah i compared to that yoshi crafted world is okay super yeah. mario maker 2 um that's it's a great game it's it's, it's a freaking phenomenal game. amazing tool oh yeah um limitless gameplay possibility you know? i agree 110 percent um, but I would have to give it to Sekiro. I agree with that choice. Sekiro. It's a good one. Sekiro is finely tuned to be an asshole to you, and it excels. So I mean, it just it makes you a better gamer. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah I really do think so. I started playing Star Wars, and like I felt so much... I was playing the game better than I was playing Sekiro because of Sekiro. But, get this, um, the Fallen Order is just not as fine-tuned. Yeah, Sekiro. Of course. It, it definitely, like, there were times where I'm like, I know I, I, like, parried something, and it wasn't, like, recording or catching it for some reason. I don't know. Nico Kano said, surprised you didn't put Luigi on here. Yeah. I don't know. Or Devil May Cry 5, for that matter. Yeah. Wow, Onyx. I, I'm a loser. Man. Would you have put those over these other three games, though? Let's be real here. I, I You know, I'll be honest. They slipped my mind. Sorry. You guys are calling me out. I love it. It slipped my mind. However, I didn't play Luigi's Mansion 3. He did. I did. And uh, it is damn good. And Devil May Cry 5, we actually both played and really enjoyed. That uh, was like at the beginning of the year, so and I played it on PC. Say it's on there. Okay. Would you put it over Fire Emblem, Sayonara, or Sekiro? No. There you go. Nah, nah. 
Yeah. No, because like Saturday Night Wild Hearts, I agree one hundred ten percent. Like, deserves the the praise that it well deserves. Um, yeah, yeah. And then Fire Emblem, like there, you know, I hate to like look at a game and like, and this is completely opposite of Sayonara, but like I look at Fire Emblem and I'm just like, I don't mind dumping like a hundred plus hours into this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the just, of it. Like it's it just there's so, so much. much. To do. And, it, and the thing is, it's not just the the breadth of the content because there's a lot of content, but the content is good. It's not yeah. just fluff. It's not padding. No, no, no. At, not at a, least for most of the time. There's, know? there's, yeah, like there's, there is some padding, but yeah. not a lot. No, there, like it's very, very well paced. Yeah. Um, and then Sekiro is is Sekiro. Like, yeah, if you haven't played it, go play it. <clears throat> so then, now we're talking about the last game. This is the one where we we can disagree if we want to. I will disagree with you. You think so? Yeah, go ahead. Well, no, it's, no, it's no. oh yeah, you called second. Like, yeah, damn it. God bless you. Thank you. I burped. It's great. <clears throat> yeah, I must say control. Really? Yeah, because I like I wanted to say Death Stranding for a bit because I really and I played it even more. I'm on episode nine now. It's got pretty close damn. to the ending. Um, I'm, I'm really not even that liking what's going on, but. Resi 2 also, man. Nah, but Control. I even I haven't even been in Control yet. And my dude. Yeah. I, I, I actually put it over like Resident Evil 2 remake, which is like blasphemous for a Control? Lot, yeah. You're putting it over Resident over Evil Resi 2? Resident Evil 2, man. Yeah, I'm going to say Control. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I know, Nico, trust me. I, I need to play Control. Like, I'm just so close to the end of Death Stranding that I'm kind of just want to finish it before I jump on Control and just finish that. But I really do want to, like, Control is good, dude. You know what I'd like to play more of? Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah. And I keep forgetting to bring it because I'm a scrub. Yeah. (laughs) I keep forgetting to bring it back. I like text this guy like last night in the middle of the night. I'm just like, dude, don't forget Fallen Order. And he wakes up. I wake up to like a text. He's like, dude, I forgot Fallen Order. (laughs) (laughs) Amazing. So what's it, man? Are you going to disagree? You haven't played Control? Ooh. Whoa. Just came out. Just came out with the Death Stranding. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude. Well, there it is. Death Stranding V Control. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Tails. Oh! Finally. We got Tails. Oh, my God. Finally. Oh, okay. my God. Okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> let, let, <laughs> Set this up. Set let, this up, let, Let's see what happens here, guys, because um, I, I honestly have <clears throat> no idea what to expect. <laughs> From the S tiers? <laughs> yeah. I almost want to pick an A tier. Just to make it more. Do you know what? This is the last one. You want to do you two S's? Even? No. Or like two A's? Let's do two A's. Okay, what do you want? All right. From, from the A tiers, you've got Incineroar, uh, Ness, Lucas, Pokemon Trainer, uh, Alamar, Link, Isabel, Cloud, Dr. Mario, Wolf, and Ike. Well, you get first pick because you won the yeah, play. So I'm going to pick. Ah, oh, crap. Somebody with a good recovery. Damn, they all kind of have shitty recoveries. Not going to lie. Oh no, Pokemon Trainer. Just because Pokemon Pokemon sucks. Trainer? <laughs> Pokemon doesn't suck. Yeah, Pokemon Trainer. He's uh right there by Ike and Diddy. Right side. Down, down, right. down. Right. There, right there. Oh, there we go. Nope. Yeah, there, there. All right. So, let me go ahead. God, this is such a wild pick. But everything's um, riding on it. <laughs> what else is there? Uh for A tier, so look. Incineroar, Ness. I mean, you can pick, you can pick, you know, anybody under if you really want to, but no. It's Isabel. A tier. Isabel? Isabel versus Pokemon Trainer. Animal Crossing versus Pokemon. Pokemon's ready? You ready? Let's do this, Shindig. Good luck. May the best game win. <laughs> just says, God did it win best ranking on this list. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be good. Oh, here we go. Dude, if you- oh. Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirt. Squirtle, Squirt. Come on, baby. Let's go. Uh, I should have made a two stock platter. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Oh, there you go. The Venus, the Ivysaur swap. Let's go to actually Leffen playing. Come on, Ivysaur. Uh, no, 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 no. Come on, baby. Get in there. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, there you go. Charizard. He's going to do a side B watch. He's going to do it. No, he's not. Oh, my God. Charizard does a lot of damage, so she better be careful. Oh, she is. Come- no. Why-, <laughs> why would you go Squirtle? No. <sighs> Let's go. Dude, he's... he's. Oh, no. Come on, baby. Come on, Ivysaur. You got this. Come on. Oh, oh here we go. That was like... Oh. <gasps> Ivysaur, you almost brought it back. Come on, you fool. No, 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 no. Fly. There you go. Charizard. Charizard. Come on. <gasps> the perfect shield. Only CPUs can do that. God damn it. Why are you going Squirtle, you idiot? 
Come on. There we go. Damn it. Game. Well, there, uh. there, you, there you go. There you go, guys. <laughs> Death stranding. <laughs> Guys, I love this. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's like really good. It, it's good. Well, there it is. So 2019. <laughs> Fire there Emblem it is. Three Houses. Sayonara Wild Hearts. Sayonara Wild Sekiro, Hearts. Sekiro. And Death Stranding. Honestly, not a bad list either. No, man. At all. Not at all. Not at all. I, I actually kind of dig it. This was actually a really fun uh, fun time looking back at the last decade of games. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> to Metal Gear, Isabel. <laughs> <laughs> this was a, this was a fun time uh, looking back at this list and and you know thinking of of where like look look at that first year and look at this last year. Right, Nico, How, you're right. By the way, oh uh, Cyberpunk. Hell yeah! A very very high chance that'll be game of the year, but it doesn't come out this quarter. It comes out next quarter, so yeah, we'll, we'll, cover we'll talk that about it on a Carly oh. Report two 2020. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, what do you think of our list? Um, you know, we'll, we'll probably put it in the comments somewhere, maybe in the description. Yeah, so yeah. you kind of see our our picks. Actually, no, that's spoilers. I'll let them. We'll just put like timestamps for each year, yeah, yeah. and that way people can see like what's happening. Um, yeah. So this is obviously a precursor to the video that's gonna come at the end of the month. Um, we want to make essentially a top game of the decade. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this list of top four games that we picked, and we're gonna throw a poll. Mm -hmm. It's gonna start with our patrons and members. Then it'll be our Discord community, and then we'll finally put it on the YouTube community tab, so you guys can all check it out. So if you want first dibs on the polls, obviously Patreon membership, uh, then Discord access, and then after that, again YouTube community poll, and then um, from that we'll take your top picks, um, and we'll go from there. We have the patrons also gave me um, their top picks as well um, for the top two games of the decade. So those are also gonna we're gonna find a slot for those games if they are different from any of the ones we picked. Yep. But anyway, guys. Yeah, but you're right, Nico. Make those girls watch the whole freaking video. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be on the lookout for this. This is going to be a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, like I said earlier, the rules are we have to pick two games from each year. So how are we going to figure that out? I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out we'll for sure. We'll figure it out. We'll, it'll we'll it'll get, be a good time. We'll have the official TGR top two games of the decade, or top 20 games of the decade. So yeah, yeah. If you like what you saw, what do you do? What do you do, Rudy? like comment and subscribe <laughs> god damn it <laughs> smash that like button if you haven't done so yet hit the um, little bell to get notifications yeah. so, you know i really don't know exactly what the little bell does but apparently it's really good so do it if you haven't done so yet and you like our yeah, talking yeah. heads um and join a discord I, I i love the community we have growing there and yeah man I, you guys I, are awesome yeah i love talking to you guys all the time and you know it's always a good time so join oh, the discord Oh, bye, bye. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Nico, uh, for the Patreon plug. <laughs> <laughs> I mostly played Uno. is a good game. Uno, I mean, it, it's a classic. It's literally a, a classic card game. So yeah. I mean, it. I have it downstairs. We can play. Oh, wait, we, maybe we can play it on stream one day. <laughs> just, <laughs> just play Uno. You want to play Uno? <laughs> we should do that on stream. <laughs> we should. But guys, I think I think this is it. Any, any final words to our lovely viewers tonight? Um, we love you guys. You guys are awesome. We do this for you guys. I mean, really I, I know we've said this like multiple times, but we do this for you guys. We really do. We were thinking like, oh, you know, we were doing the thumbnail and we were thinking like what to put on it and what to write. And we're like thinking of like, you know, like SEO and maybe like maximizing, you know, text and everything. We're like, we're doing this for the for the actual fans like the, viewers, yeah. the people that like our, our content. So this is literally for you guys because we, we're barely what we may maybe get 200 views on this video <laughs> at but, most. But we love it because these people, you know, you guys, you're awesome. Yep. Awesome. So thank you so much for watching. Yep, yep, yep. Thanks yep, so yep, much yep. for the conversation. It's always a hell of a lot of fun with you guys. So Yep. It's always good times, guys. Yeah, we'll always, catch you always. on the next one, I guess. Yep. We'll see you <laughs> later. Later, guys. Deuces.